that took me a second today. <laughs> Hi guys! We are going to be getting started today. There we go. I think I got it this time. Okay. I'm a little nervous because I'm trying to do a TikTok Studios live today too. I've never done it before, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing some sister wives today. Pretty easy. Um, but the challenge is basically you have a male sim. It's, it's inspired off the sister wives show that I absolutely... I don't love this show. I just think the drama and the tea and the spice of this chaotic family is really hooks me. So I wanted to do that in The Sims. So we have one Sim man who is basically leading his life with his three first wives. Uh, but we're going to shake things up here by adding in a fourth wife and a fifth wife, sixth wife. And we'll just kind of keep going, adding wives and kind of see how that goes. That's the plan at least. So... I hope, uh, I hope all goes well, though. I'm kind of nervous, but we'll see. But we'll see. Um, last time I streamed, we went ahead and made Mr. Connor here. Connor McLovin. McLovin is the family name. So we made Connor here, and he has to go schmooze some wives. And then we have his three wives. His first wife, who we made yesterday as well, is Roxanne McLovin. She is very um, confident, a little bit of a party animal. And what's her negative trait? We kind of gave each wife, made sure they had like a negative trait. Oh, but she's kind of mean. So she's probably very controlling. You know, she's the first wife. She set the standard. And I feel like she very much wants the other wives to kind of bow down to her position. You know, she's in charge. She knows what she wants. Um, and then we have our lovely second wife. There is just something about her that we really adored. Not only for herself is she the cutest little girl ever, but she's obsessed with clogs. We've come to learn. I don't know why that became a thing in the chat with you guys, but she, she just became obsessed with clogs. And, uh, and now she just wears claws, claws, clogs in just about every outfit. Oh, but her name is Natalie McLovin. She is our bookworm. She's socially awkward. Um, and she is also a genius. So kind of the opposite of his very confident first wife. And then we have the newest wife who is the third wife. And her name is Veronica McLovin. She's kind of a brat. She's a little bit of a brat. Um, she's a jealous, snob, perfectionist. So it's interesting to see, you know, is she going to be as much of a baddie as we think she's going to be? Or is she actually going to be kind of nice? Because that's what I want to know. Is she actually going to be nice to everybody? Or is she going to be starting a lot of fights? Um, and they live... <laughs> In this rinky dink little trailer because that's all they could afford after moving to this great big lot that we are planning to fill up with uh, lots and lots of beautiful trailer or little mini houses for all of his wives. The goal in the future is that each, each wife should get her own little house um, and that we should have at least one child with each wife. And then if they have, if he like, you know, tries for a baby with another wife, I'm, I can't stop him. That's him wanting to have another wife, another baby with another wife. So he can autonomously choose who he wants to have kids with. Um, but we will definitely make sure at least one baby comes from each marriage to start with. Um, I, I fixed the outhouse. I made it look a little cuter. It's not a little A-frame outhouse, uh, but there's still no toilet in it. It's just empty in there. Um, so they have to still continue to pee in the bush as of right now. So that's, uh, those are our standards and stipulations right now. Um, the trailer is very lackluster. Oh, and I took it off the actual trailer part and put it on, um, on, uh, on a raised platform just because I hated the little mobile home. But yesterday it just felt like they moved in, they got rid of the truck and now they're gone. So we're going to continue on. So tell me guys, what's the first thing we want to do? Do we want to first set things off by him going out on the town? And uh, trying to find a new wife while we make some money. I think first things first, I think Natalie should be the one that goes off and gets a job. You know, she probably doesn't very much want to sit at home all day and take care. Of oh, oh, that's right. I needed to turn jealousy on. 
Oh no, I'm gonna turn jealousy on. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna try and turn jealousy on. But if this all go, oh wait, no, I can't right now. But if this all goes south, I'm gonna be so nervous. No, I don't want you to find an odd job. I want you to actually get a job. I want her to be a librarian, but sadly that is not a uh, an actual job in The Sims, which is a shame because I would love a cute little librarian. Um, but I think we're gonna make her a school teacher instead. That'll be her career. As of right now, I'm gonna have two of the wives get jobs. And of course our third wife, she's a little prima donna. She's not gonna come in with a job right away. She's just not. Woohoo and see who gets preggers first. We need jealousy. Wait, I thought you had to keep jealousy off. Um, you don't have to keep jealousy off. It's just in the uh, the last time I did this challenge, we had so many wives, I found it easier to keep jealousy off. But we're going to see how far we can go in this challenge with, with jealousy on. Um, so I'm going to have to take him out to a library and change that in the meantime. But I'm going to get his first two wives a job first because we need to start bringing in a steady income. And then um, I'm going to have him try for a baby with each one of his little wives. And see who gets pregnant first. Oh god, do I really want... Okay, what should her job be? What kind of fits her personality? She's not criminal. She's very confident party girl. Confident party girl. A tech guru, right? Gamery kind of... No. Confident party girl. Confident party girls are always freaking business people. Like, I work in business, but in my life is a stressful, so I'm going to go party on the weekends kind of a vibe. <laughs> there we go. All right, so at least two of his wives are going to job. He's not going to have a job. He's just going to be adding in wives and making them work. He, he doesn't have time, you know, to be perusing around with all of his wives. Um, right now, his one wife is flirting with him. Is she asking him to go woo-woo with her, or is she just... Oh, and he decided to give her a kiss. All right, we're going to have them go ahead and try for a baby. But I'm not going to see if they were pregnant or not. I'm just going to let things go. So we're going to have each of uh, the white. Oh, and a stinky bush of all bushes. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Well, it is bush who's time. So bush 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 and Lainey, thank you so much for that prime resub of 13 months. How long is pregnancy? I believe I have pregnancy down to a normal amount. Something's waiting in the bushes for us. Something's waiting in the bushes of love. Thank you so much for that sound alert. Megan, of course. Thank you so much for bringing on our bushes of love sound. <laughs> All right, so he's consummated with one wife in a stinky, stinky bush. And now he's going and making out with his third wife. Good lord. All right, try for a baby in the bushes with her as well. Try for a baby with Veronica since you're right here and feeling very flirty. Good lord. <laughs> How are we going to have are we going to have room for kids in this trailer? I don't think we're going to. I'm kind of worried about that. I don't think we mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Wait, are they going to try for a baby? Are they working on that? or <gasps> Is she flirting with her? Are we already? No, her only flirty relationship is Cameron. I thought we were already going to have some wife flirting with other wife action over here. But I don't think so. And then we're going to go... Ooh, ding dong. KK, thank you so much for the follow, sweetheart. <laughs> How do you make him have multiple wives? Um, so in The Sims 4, I usually will just have the... Um, in The Sims 4, I have the MC Command Center mod along with the MC Woohoo extension that goes with the mod. 
and uh, you just go into the settings and you can allow polygamy in The Sims 4, which MC Woohoo or MC Command Center is an amazing mod. You can do so much with it. So if you're going to download any mod into your games, I would highly recommend that one. Uh, Storm White, thank you so much for the follow. Let's see. All right, and now with his second wife, we still need to woohoo. Try for a baby with Natalie McLovin. Lee Jade, thank you so much for the follow. What's it called? MC, MC Command Center. What's the ding dong? Uh, so that's a new sound alert for the uh, TikTok followers. I didn't realize that was a, a thing. I'll have to turn that off. Because I'm using a different platform to do, to stream for TikTok. I was trying it out today, so we'll see. Zara, thank you so much for the follow. All right, is he gonna go woohoo with his second wife or no? Excuse me. Are we stuck? Are you stuck? Are we stuck, babies? Share her inse- Oh, she was gonna go share her insecurities. Oh, Veronica might not be so bad. She was gonna go share her insecurities with Roxanne. That's actually kind of sweet. Okay. Some of my sins are stuck, so I'm gonna- Oh, definitely stuck. Let's uh, have him try again and see if he'll do it. Okay, there we are. We're more successful this time. Okay. I'm not gonna check if they're pregnant, but is there anything I could have the other wives be doing right now that would help us get some more money over here? Maybe in the future we'll like get a horse and do horse racing uh, with one of the wives. Maybe the one of the wives can be an equestrian. I don't know. I just I want I need an excuse to get a horse nowadays. Are there any collectibles on these new maps? I hate that. Like collectibles used to be a big thing in The Sims 4, but now I can never find any place. Oh, we got another bush baby coming in. They are woohooing. Bush 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 Dear Bush Lords, please bless us with a fertile loins and a beautiful union between these two sins gathered here in your bushes today. Um, I hope she gets pregnant because she's a uh, total cutie, and I really hope Natalie has many adorable babies. So, thanks. Why is the bush stinky? Ah, uh, cause they, uh, cause they may or may not have defecated in it. <laughs> uh, that may be uh, part of that problem today. <laughs> <laughs> oh veronica no honey um so the bushes are their only toilet so that 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 kind of why and he oh, veronica coming and stealing him away right after natalie left do we have a visitor we have a lady of the night here! <gasps> Sophia Knight! Okay, go boy, introduce yourself. Do we want her to be another wife? <gasps> Should she be the fourth wife? I mean, look at how beautiful she is. And I know how you guys are with the cults, but look at her! Look at her! How could we not bring her into the- I know she's a vampire, though. Do we want her? Tell me in the comments, how do we feel about her? Is she a potential wife? Is she? Should she be wife number four? Should we start courting her? She's uncomfortable. Do you need my blood? Do you need my blood, sweetie? Is that what you're here for? We need her, yes. She is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, get her, yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Wait, what's her name? Wait, it's Sophia. Sophia Knight. I knew she, her last name was Knight, but I couldn't remember the front, the front name, the first name. Ask him to turn, well, that'd be funny. She can't autonomously turn him, can she? Oh, I hope not. Please don't autonomously turn my sims. I am not here for that. The front name. Look, okay, shh, don't judge me for saying the front name, okay? <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I do things. She would get us more money. How would she get us more money? Oh wait, no, if we married her, duh. She would get us more money if we married her. Oh, okay. Lady of the night. Uh, welcome to the family. Um, honey, 
it's going to be really hard to court other wives if I have other wives staring at me. Like, I can't have her staring at me the whole time I'm trying to bring in a new wife to the situation. It's not going to pan out well. See, I don't have jealousy on yet because I can't afford a computer. But see how this would be difficult? To try and court or bring in a new wife when I have another wife just staring at us and being a part of the conversation. Once I turn jealousy on, it's going to be so much harder and I'm very nervous. I feel we're going to ruin relationships left and right. We have three wives, but only $80. Look, I know. Okay, we're very poor right now. <laughs> we are very poor right now. Okay, and I'm trying to help that out. I'm trying to help that out. Uh, Claire, thank you so much for the follow, sweetheart. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Bush Gang. All right, so she's really feeling us. I think I should go ahead and ask her to just be... Oh, I say that as she rejects me. Can we smooth recovery that one? I say that as she rejects me. Come on, smooth recovery. Come on, buddy. Use that gorgeous little blonde. Gorgeous little blonde. Gorgeous little red hair. Okay, yep, that worked. It went well. Can I ask her to be my girlfriend? I... No. Can I compliment her appearance? Okay, I need to ask her out on a date. I feel like asking them out on dates is what's going to get us places. No, she's starting to reject me. He's taking things too far. We need to cool it down. We need to cool down. Dang it. We had so much romance built up, and then I just lost it all by having him continue to ask her stupid questions. Oh. Ask if she's single. Maybe she's with somebody. I don't think she is. I'm pretty sure she's a single vampire chick that I added to the game a long time ago. I'm pretty sure she is single. Not that it would matter. We've split up Sims before, but you know what? I should ask if she's single. That is important. And... Has someone redeemed a hydrate? <laughs> Roxanne, why are you upset? Is Roxanne upset? Oh, okay. Apparently that she's done with us for the night. Uh, we'll call you. Is she? Does she have bare feet? <gasps> Girly! I get it, though. I get it. I mean, you're all dolled up. But she's still a barefoot baddie. <laughs> I love a barefoot baddie. I'm here for it. <laughs> Rainbow Unicorn, thank you so much for the follow. Like, she is a gorgeous, gorgeous gal. Like, gorgeous, gorgeous gal. With them little toesies out. And I love it. <laughs> oh, I love being barefoot. Tell me in the chat, do you guys like being barefoot outside? Or are you a person that has to constantly wear socks and shoes? I love bare feet. I bare feet all day. I walk outside with my bare feet. I go get the mail on my bare feet. I don't give a crap about shoes. I hate wearing shoes. If I don't have to, I'm going to be barefoot. Barefoot, definitely barefoot. <laughs> did any of the wives make food or did he just go snack? I mean, guys, there's not a lot to do. We have sleeping quarters and eating quarters. That's about it. Oh, she just showered back there. <laughs> Spongebob, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Bush Gang. Support the Barefoot Gang. Barefoot Gang. Barefoot, Barefoot. I dislike shoes. I need shoes. I have, I've had two foot surgeries. Oh, Stephanie, I'm so sorry. Wearing shoes, gang. Ugh. Shoes outside, barefoot in my house. I'm a slipper girly. <laughs> I have black shoes. Or no, I have to have shoes. What did I see black at? I don't know, I'm going crazy. Um, Alexandria, thank you so much for the follow. What's the CC name for their hairstyles? I have way too many different kinds of custom content. They, they all have different creators, I can tell you that much. But this one is Natalie Atar, Ador? It's N-A for the custom content logo, but it's Natalie Atar, or something like that. I always forget the name. Uh, Dot, thank you so much for the follow. Venus between us. Thank you so much for the follow as well. All right. So we're going to be courting Sophia as our fourth wife. So we're going to slowly work on her. Well, apparently we've pissed off Umber Grove for some reason. I don't know why. I have yet to see if any of the wives are pregnant or not. Has anyone seen any signs of pregnancy in our wives yet? 
I see. I haven't seen a single uh, blocks or bottle logo above them. Biff is some. I downloaded that hairstyle last night and I fell in love with it. It's so pretty. I, mm, it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous hairstyle. I just love it. They did a very good job making this hair. I mean, some of their stuff is kind of low quality, but this hairstyle in particular is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I'm barefoot unless I go to an appointment or the store. <laughs> I think um, Pinterest, honestly, is a great place to find custom content for The Sims 4. Because if you type in, if you're a Sims 4 Maxis match or a Sims 4 alpha person, or just go to Pinterest and type in Sims 4 CC hair or CC clothes, and just start pinning and, and liking what you like. And Pinterest, over time, learns, you know, your style of what you like. Uh, for custom content and they'll just start sending you a whole bunch of suggestions. They're like, hey, you liked this style. What about this creator? This creator? This creator? This creator? Pinterest is the best place to find custom content. In my personal opinion, I like it much better. I haven't seen you in so long. How is your pregnancy? I am done being pregnant and I have a four month old baby boy now. Okay. Everybody is eating. We have $74 to our name, so I'm going to send all of them out on the town. No, I'm just going to send him by himself out on the town. Let's go. We need to go somewhere I know I can make money. And I think... I think let's go to the beach. And maybe we'll meet some cute girls there that he can also court. No. No. We need to go to Forgotten Hollow. <gasps> she lives with somebody, but I don't think she's dating him. We're going to go on a little date. We're going to go on a little date with Sophia and see if she will hang out with us. Got to stretch. Oh, oh, here we go. Stretch. And stretch. Oh, my God. I use Pinterest for all of my CC. I highly recommend it. It's really nice. Four months old. Wow, it's been such a long time. How's mommy life treating you? Mommy life is great. I absolutely adore him. He's the sweetest little boy. And he's so smiley and so funny. He's just a... He's, oh, he's an absolute peach. I adore my son. When I use Pinterest, it mainly takes me to The Sims Resource and a Patreon. Yeah, I mean... The Sims Resources has a lot of good CC on it. It's definitely a good easy one to use if you're a beginner CCer. Um, but I like just I just like Googling for CC and um, searching on Pinterest for my stuff mainly. I miss my Sims 4 when they moved the EA app. They stole all my games. <laughs> Um, when you go to the EA app, did you sign in with your old origin ID or did you make a new account? Because if you made a new account, it's not going to transfer over. If you go into EA ID and you sign in with your old origin account, it should have just brought over all your stuff. Okay, so she's going... She's uncomfortable though, so I don't want to press her too hard. So we're going to keep it light by just doing some casual small talk with her. Because she seems really upset. So let's try... Doing some funny interactions with her to like kind of, I don't know why she's uncomfortable. She maybe, maybe she's hungry. I don't know if there's a way I can offer myself to her to drink. I don't want her to turn me. But I ask for a small loan, ask for a large loan. Ask for, oh, no, 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 no. I shouldn't ask for a loan yet. We're not that good of friends. She'll probably tell me no. Okay, I need to work on our friendship and then we can ask her to give us a loan. I need money. And then we never have to pay her back because we're just going to marry her. That is a, mm, that's a good way to go about that. Schwabe, clips. Wow. Link to a Trebane. Hi, Bells. Hi, Desi Bear. Hi, Lene Bird. How are you guys all doing today? Allie, how are you, honey? That's a difficult... That's a definite... That's definitely a first date concept. Let me feed on you. I mean... She's a vampire. We know it. But I don't think she knows we know it. So, I don't know. Okay. 
Oh, sharing a computer with your boyfriend. That's rough. That's rough. <laughs> because you don't want to bog down his computer because it's his computer. You don't want to overstep your boundaries. I totally get it. Um, why? Oh, she's evil. Guys, I don't know. Are we going to be able to court her? She's being very difficult. <laughs> she's being very difficult. She's being mean, mean to me for no reason. She's not into it, and I'm really trying to cheer her up. Can I at least get a loan from you? <laughs> Can I get a loan? I don't know what she, oh, she's not into us. Come on. Why not? Okay, how did I how do I find a way I can get a loan? <laughs> How do I get a loan from her? I need to try. Let me try a small loan. It's not gonna let me ask her. It keeps dissing out the interaction. She's a jerk. Get her the flirty drink. What's the flirty drink? Oh, what? oh wait, oh, I need a hit. You guys are really gonna make me turn on jealousy. Mm. Nah. Okay, so in the MC Command Center mod, you go into the MC Woohoo and you download it. Um, the interaction and you can hit allow polygamy You can enable no strings woohoo allow um, Your sims to try for a baby And let's see where am I looking for Autonomous try for baby has been enabled so he can just use whoever he wants can use birth control but i don't just because i if i want to get my sims pregnant i don't want them messing up my system here is it woohoo reactions i think oh, hold on oops woohoo reactions <sighs> i'm gonna turn on jealousy <gasps> oh a game restart is required to for this change to take effect it's not going to be enabled today but the next time we stream sister wives uh jealousy will definitely be a factor that we'll have to look into but I'm not restarting my game for that to work. All right. One thing though, if she is going to come to our house, I'm gonna have to harvest some different uh, plants that are gonna allow her to be able to drink at our house. Because I'm not gonna have, oh, a dick site. Yeah, a little money. More dig. More ways to get money. I wish there was something with this. Anything else that I can quickly go ahead and mess with so I can get some money. Another plant to harvest over here. Laddie daddy, what's up my dude? Do you have anything for me? You have something for me. Anything else around your house? Just all of the bodies that you've uh, killed? to get your blood? Okay. Uh, I know there's trees and stuff. Isn't there? Ooh, garlic. I don't think our uh, new wife would be very happy with us harvesting garlic, but I will try nonetheless. Harvest this, harvest. Oh, move a little faster, bub. Mandy, oh, what a shame. <laughs> Don't call out my sarcasm. I'm allowed to be relieved, okay? And then we'll have him go fishing for just a little bit. Are there any rivers or ponds in the area where we live? Because I could have a couple wives go fishing. That could be a way for us to try and make. Excuse me, where am I going? I did not say go home in that lineup that I had. Excuse me. Apparently, when it sent my other wives to work, oh, Cameron has to go to work. He has a job. <gasps> he has a job. Oh my God, that's right, because this was old Chad. 
That's right, because this is old Chad. So he has all of the skills of old Chad. Well, letting him go to work for one day won't hurt. You guys want me to go dumpster diving? Of course you guys want me to go dumpster diving. She was holding her belly. Who, Veronica? <gasps> Veronica? Veronica, are you pregnant? Be honest with us, Veronica. All right, well, all of my sims work hard at your first days at work. Glad to see you guys are working hard. Veronica's gonna go take a little bath while uh, everybody's away. <laughs> hey, I'm new here. Hi, welcome. Were you guys saying that Veronica was the one holding her belly? Won't hurt at all. What well, won't hurt at all? The harvesting prairie grass will drop collectibles. Oh, really? Do we have any? Hmm. I thought that was a crocodile in the water for some reason. Okay, we do have water around our house. Does that mean we have a fishing spot? Are there no fishing spots? There's a frog. Go look for frogs. Are there no fishing spots? We have all this bodies of water and you don't have a single place for my sim to go fish? That's illegal. Are you kidding me? Sims, do you just not care about all your old features? This is bull. <laughs> this is bull. Ugh. Is there nothing fun to do around here? Ooh, who do we have out today? Oh, Sam Elliott. I know it's Don Gooseman, but it's Sam Elliott in my heart. Mysterious mail. While sorting the mail, Roxanne finds a package marked, marked urgent, but the recipient's name has been smudged out. How will Roxanne deal with this mystery package? Send the company-wide email asking for help or wait to see if anyone contacts the mail room looking for the urgent mail. Let's just go ahead and send an email because what's the harm in sending an email? I guess company-wide. I mean, I feel like this is showing devotion. We have devotion for the work and I lost, okay. Natalie is unsure what to do at work. A new coworker has joined the team and Natalie wants to introduce herself, but is scared of being awkward and making the wrong impression. That's, that's definitely her socially awkward dil and awkward dilemma. She's just gonna avoid the situation because she's, um, she's awkward. Um, but Roxanne perceived a performance loss. Roxanne loads up the email and cute pictures of the hamster, sends it to the company's worldwide mailing list. Within minutes, a snarky executive responds with a sarcastic meme. For the rest of the day, Roxanne's coworkers refer to her as hamster girl. What a... I have performance loss on both of them. Natalie's boss is disappointed with her unfriendly behavior and minor performance loss has been... Ugh. I made both of my girls fail today. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dot, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Lydia, thank you so much for the follow as well. Uh, you can bribe the bugs in the stumps or something, right? Bribe, breed. Yeah, you can breed the frogs. If you have two frogs in your inventory, you can breed them uh, at least once a sim day. So I got a frog right now. It's only a common leaf frog, so it's not worth a whole lot. But if I were to go ahead and find another frog, I could breed the different frogs together every day in hopes that I could get a uh, a more rare frog. Oop, the, here, right, there's another frog. So if I go ahead and... Sorry, can I not... It's saying I don't get to go get the frog. I hate this map. <laughs> This map is mean to me. Can I ra No, I can't rummish. Veronica wouldn't rummage. Is there a fishing spot anywhere on this map? I'm surrounded by water and you won't let me fish. Sims team. You're not giving me more reasons to hate you. Right. Ugh. 
I picked the most boring section of this map to live in, apparently. There's nothing fun to do. No one's fishing. No one knows what to do. They're just walking. Oh, it's a horsey. A horsey with no mane. Who is this horse? Are there wild horses around? It's a very pretty horse. Who are you? It won't tell me who this horse is. I want to know. <laughs> I don't know. Does <gasps> There's a place to fish! Finally. Finally. How far away from our house is it, though? Oh, it's a good long travel, isn't it? Dang it. <laughs> Usually horses are near their owners. There's some glowing stumps with mushrooms growing from them that are different from frog stumps. I don't think I've seen those. <laughs> I wish we had wild horses. I know, that'd be amazing. You're right at the fishing spot. Drage is just yelling at me through the screen. She's like, right there, right there. <laughs> and I went past a couple grass locations too. Of course I did. Umber Grove, what's up? Aw, she looks perfect in this location. Meredith, get it, honey. Get it, Meredith. I mean, to be fair, you guys are probably always yelling at me through the <laughs> through the screen. Right there, you stupid. Like, where are your eyes? You're not even trying to look. It might be a cottage living pack feature. I have every single expansion pack, game pack, stuff pack, and a few kid packs, because I think kid packs are kind of dumb. Um, Jennifer, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. I gotta check. I need to stop clicking my teeth. Uh, Rosemary Love, thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. And L Mac, thank you so much for the follow on Twitch as well. Katrina Faye, thank you so much for that four months resub, sweetheart. Lainey, thank you so much for that 13 months. And Kitsune, once again, thank you so much for gifting two subs. Gotta make sure I say thank you to all those notifications because I super appreciate them. <laughs> Haley, thank you so much for the follow. Oh. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. Oh, I heard another one. I need to stop clicking. Why do I keep clicking? It's like a new thing I find. Is it a tick? I'm Zef... Zephra? I'm Zephra? I'm gonna call you Zeph. I'm Zeph. Thank you so much for the follow, sweetheart. <laughs> I mean, I don't have ticks or anything, but I keep clicking my lips and I need to stop that. I don't know where that's come from, but I need to cut that off. Oh wait, I think they're bird, not bugs. <gasps> birds make sense. Birds would make sense. Birds do come. Is that Tarzan's mom? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure I remember making you. Uh, are you Tarzan's mommy? <laughs> Kala gorilla, yes you are. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi Athena, how are you doing today, sweetheart? I went and poured me a glass of wine and I'm all ready now. Get it, girl. <laughs> She's deaf pregnant. Oh, did she have a thing again? <gasps> oh my God, she is pregnant. Veronica's pregnant. She definitely has a bump going on right now. And she has a notification. Her second trimester will start in 15 hours. Natalie is home. <gasps> She's pregnant too. Yay, Natalie. But I hate this outfit you're wearing. <laughs> Definitely not her style. And I hate how they don't put glasses on her. Like just because she came home doesn't mean she doesn't wear glasses. All right, so Natalie has claimed her bunk. Sleep, not nap. Why do my Sims always nap? Just sleep. Go to bed. All right, we have 250 simoleons currently though. And I'm gonna sell these two fish. 
That's another 43. Okay, we're gonna breed frogs. So I have two frogs in my inventory. So you can click to breed the frogs. You just have to click on one in the inventory and you can pick from a list of how many of our frogs you have in your inventory. I only have one other. So I'm gonna breed my leaf frog with the surfer leaf frog. And we got Ooh. a striped leaf frog, which is only a $10 value. So I'm not getting much out of this, so sad. Hydrate. Oh god, I about knocked my whole drink over. Thank you for the hydrate reminder. Okay, if you want to be a fancy pants about fishing, you don't have to show off like that. Did you see him? Yeah! <laughs> A little twisty twisty. <laughs> You're by far my fave simmer. Aw, thank you! That's all I can see your name is it's just a picture, so I don't know how to how to call you out. <laughs> and a Roxanne is home, and Roxanne's pregnant too. Okay, so we have three pregnant wives, and we have four hundred and twenty dollars to our name, Cameron. We need to go court a wife and marry quickly because we need to come up with like a kid's bunkhouse. <gasps> Maybe instead of, I don't know, I think it'd be fun to have a kid's bunkhouse. Hmm, should I do that? Eli, thank you so much for the follow. Tatiana, thank you so much for the follow as well. Thank you. I'm kind of nervous though. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. Okay, shit, so I want every wife to have their own little house. Or do I have all the kids sharing a room in the middle? But I feel like the wives are going to end up sleeping there. It's probably not going to go well. Anise Bennett, thank you so much for the follow. Abby, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Bush Gang, my friends. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much do you like the ranch pack? <sighs> okay, so a few factors will weigh into that. I think the horses and the horse animation looks incredible, so it gets a point. Um, I think the breeding system could be better. I feel like if you have a more experienced horse, like a horse that's won more trophies and stuff. Oh, he just got $3,000 from a single day of work. Good boy, go to bed, honey. If you're tired, go to bed. Um, I feel like the horse breeding system could be more in depth. Like if you have a very prized horse and it breeds, and you have a foal, that foal should be worth more money instead of them all being the same baseline. So I don't like that. Um, I don't like how you can't go into the equestrian center. I hate how it's just a rabbit hole. I want something more. You give me even an animation that plays. Like how they used to do things in The Sims 2. You could have just given me a little animation of horses running on around a track. Uh, I would have been happy with that. Um, I think it's a cute pack. The clothing and, and furniture always... The Sims 4 does a great job at clothing and furniture in the game. You know, it's definitely a character creation and building simulation game. Gameplay-wise, they're always lackluster. But I think it's cute. I love the mini goats um, and sheep. I think they're adorable. So that's kind of nice. I'm thinking I'm going to rate it as... Would I buy this pack? I'm gonna give it a six out of five. I think it's cute, or a six out of 10. I think it's cute. I do overall like it, but I just wanted more from it. So I'm gonna give it a strong six out of 10. I think champion horses have a higher value foals and my horse has a trait gained, which just says that. I had a, I had a, um, a horse that I had got a lot of different, um, oh, I heard my baby crying. Um, I had a horse that won a lot of different championship races and that when I would breed it um, and it's foals and I would sell its foals, they were always worth $1,000. I never got more. <laughs> I had to get gold in all four masters. Oh, so you have to get certain... St oh, that's kind of sad though. I want little incremental... I want little ones. Like if I get even one gold medal... I want to see a little bit of a pay difference in those foals. I need at least a lot of different things to happen. All right, is Veronica still fishing out here for us? Yes, yeah, she is getting us that money. Oh, is that Claire Ursarin from The Sims 3? 
I love her so much. I thought she was such a funny Sim in The, Sim in the Sims 3. So I had to make her and put her in The Sims 4 as well. So tell me, you guys, if you remember Claire Urserin uh, in The Sims 3, let me know what you think of her because <laughs> I love her. Of course, I made her a little cuter than she was in The Sims 3. But still, you can tell it's the same Sim. She's still like, you know, kind of shabbily dressed and she has a daughter in the game because she always is pregnant in the sims 3 and gave birth to a little girl um there were a couple, uh krista thank you so much for that follow sweetheart welcome to the bush gang the doorbell sound is a new follower anytime i get a new follower that uh sound plays uh kona is it con ill Connell, thank you so much for the follow. If I put your name, I'm so sorry. I try not to, but mm. can she be a wife? She could be a wife. Oh my God, it's Tarzan. What's up, Tarzan? <laughs> I love my Disney characters when they just pop up around the household. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Amy, thank you so much for the follow. Wait, and Radio Rebel, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, no, Radio Rebel joined. Oops, I read that wrong. <laughs> Amy, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> radio though if you do want to follow that <laughs> um oh, okay so we're gonna have him come introduce herself she is i think she's single she Fucking has a previous save, Josie. i mean y'all could be a little nicer about it um face thank you so much for the, <laughs> the follow <laughs> Uh, Asonia, thank you so much for the follow as well. Do you use your PC for gameplay? Yes, I do. I do use my PC. I know I'm, I'm going to save. I'm going to save because you guys yelled at me. Who yelled at me in specifics? Lainey. No. Yeah, Lainey played that. Lainey? You yelling at me to save around here. <laughs> Oh my god, I just noticed. Oh, you can see my balding, receding hairline after having a baby when I turn this way. So we're just going to pull a little of that out so it's maybe not as bad. <laughs> Do you have any uh, tips to help the freezing? Um, is my game freezing or are you talking about your own personal game freezing? Because if my game's freezing and lagging, let me know, guys, because I need to know that. Too bad this ain't brother husband. <laughs> Ugh, I'm balding too. <laughs> oh no. It peaks around, around four months postpartum. No, don't tell me that. I am four months postpartum right now. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ash, thank you so much for the follow, my personal game. <laughs> okay, so your personal game. Um, I would recommend maybe trying to put your game on laptop mode, playing with the settings, uh, changing the quality of your game or upgrading your computer storage, just getting more RAM on your computer. Um, know what? You don't need more than 32 gigabytes of RAM. 16 should be just fine to run the Sims. So I would recommend getting more RAM on your PC or your computer if you can. Um, Misty, thank you so much for the follow and Destiny. Thank you so much for the. F no, it did. Misty? Uh -huh. No, Misty didn't. <laughs> Destiny, thank you so much for the follow. Now I'm supposed to potter baby hairs all over my head right now. <laughs> all right, so. It is nighttime, so actually, I'm going to send him home. So we introduce ourselves to Claire Irserin. She might be a, a mommy that we court in the future, but it's nighttime, so I want to try calling over Sophia Knight. Um, and seeing if she'll come to the house and we'll try things out with her again tonight because I can't call her up in the sun because she'll probably burn to death. But in the meantime, I'm gonna call her over and, uh, see if we can't try and get things to go a little smoother with it. Nope. She's sad. Why are you sad? I can't work with sad. I need a happy. No, you want me to do this in the house? I was kind of hoping we would go somewhere else as to not disturb my other wives. But I guess, you know, if this is what you need, this is what you need. 
I will express my admiration of you. I'm gonna try really hard to uh to do a better job with her today. And hopefully I can get her to uh, at least be girlfriend status tonight. That's what I want to see from her. So we're going to try our hardest to build a good relationship with her, get her happy, and then we'll start back into the romantic advances for her. I really want to try and get her happy. Happy. He could play the guitar at her? <laughs> Maybe a little music to set the mood? Oh! He's gonna set the mood by showing him the- showing her his finer things in life. That's what he wants. He's showing her the finer things in life for him. Um, okay, let's- I mean, he has a level 10 skill and everything, so maybe... We could serenade her with a little guitar action. And it's a fair. It's fair. Um, we'll get the black one. No. Yeah, the black one. It's more his personality, probably. Um, can I dedicate? Yes. Can I dedicate this song to? Oh no, she's gonna play a song for us. Oh, she's tur how the turntables have turned. Listen closely. Well, she's no Johnny Cash, but... Very cute. <laughs> oh, no. I think it's beautiful. I th that was not the plan, but it seems to be... <gasps> we gotta... Oh, Veronica is still out here fishing! So what'd you have you all caught? How are you doing out here? Um, you've been fishing all day and you only have $300 to speak of? Oh, plus that. Plus whatever that was. A repair piece. Honey, go home. Go home. You need to go rest and you need to go pee. You're probably... Oh. If you walk home at that speed, you are never going to make it and you're going to end up peeing your pants. But let's see if she does. Waddle, waddle. And she waddled away. Waddle, waddle. And she waddled away. Is she going to make it home? Place bets in the comments right now. Do you think she's going to make it home? Or do you think she's going to end up peeing her pants? I don't know. She might be lucky enough to make it home. Home is across the bridge. Misty! Thank you so much for the follow! Ashley, thank you so much for the follow, yes. If she don't stop for anything, she'll make it. <laughs> Natalie, thank you so much for the follow as well. We have a wife named Natalie! In spirit, you're here with us. Look at all my pregnant wives that are about to pee. The <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, I thought she was going to stop her from going to the bathroom. I don't know. I don't know if she's going to make it. Avery, thank you so much for the follow. Taylor, <laughs> Taylor Swift. I'm just kidding. I, some emoji, Taylor Swift. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a heart of some sort. Oh, <gasps> no, honey. Oh, they have to go in the bush outside. Okay, I need to get them a toilet. We have enough money for a toilet. I will buy them a toilet. <laughs> I will finally put a toilet in the outhouse. Oh, okay, excuse me. Okay, we'll get a little light and a toilet for the outhouse. So we'll get the cheapest toilet. There we go. Hopefully that works for them. And a little light, cause I'm nice like that. There we go. Light things up out there. But now we have a toilet. Oh, but I don't have wallpaper inside the outhouse. I don't like that. Here we go. The, to uh, the outhouse now has a toilet in it. <laughs> Honey, you better go to the bathroom. You're going to pee yourself. 
typical pregnant woman. She's prioritizing eating before going to the bathroom. I guess that's not every pregnant woman because I guess if you battle with morning sickness, you probably had a lot harder time. All right, he's gonna go in and flirt with her because she's in an inspired mood and we have a decent friendship with her. So I think I should be able to get our flirty... <gasps> no! Natalie was cheated on by someone she cared for and is in a jealous rage. How will she ever trust again? Does she embrace the change and become jealous? Yes or no? What do you guys think? Uh, Emily, thank you so much for the follow. Them, thank you for the follow. And Casey, thank you so much for the follow as well. I appreciate that. Uh, no, no, no. Yes, for more drama. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Stuff about to go down. Stuff, it's about to go down. Swing your partner round and round. <laughs> Poor Natalie. No. Yes. Spice things up. Yes, yes, yes. No. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing more yeses than no's currently. Um, so we're going to say yes, and she's going to be a jealous person. Oh, oh, okay, so apparently jealousy is on! It said it would need a game restart to put jealousy in effect. That doesn't- No! I'm gonna say his first wife does not get jealous as a difference uh, between the wives, but no, it said jealousy wouldn't be on. How much damage? <gasps> no, we've done so much damage to their relationship with the other three wives. <sighs> All right, we're gonna have to take her out on a date. We gotta, we gotta get her out of the house. Dang it, it said jealousy wasn't gonna be on. It played me like a fiddle. I just ruined three wives' relationships. No. no. <laughs> I wouldn't have flirted with her in front of all his other wives if I had known that. No. <laughs> We're gonna take her to a, the bar. Dang it. He cannot court around other women. No, he can't. I didn't know. I didn't know. We said we were going to turn jealousy off, but it said it was going to need a game restart to change that. And it lied to me, and I'm very upset about it. So I just ruined some of my wife's relationships. <laughs> All right. I'm going to continue my flirting with them. Um, and see if that goes well. Uh, well, he lost his umbrella for them. Exchange phone numbers. It looks, I mean, it, it, it's doing well, though. He's, he's schmoozing her up. She's a little scared, but I think that's from the thunderstorm and not from him. So, hopefully... I can aim this successfully, and this flirtation goes well, and I can ask her to at least be my girlfriend tonight. So... Uh, where did you get your loading screen? Um, if you just Google Sims 4 loading screens, um, there's a site that'll come up. It'll bring you up a lot of different options to pick from because there are tons of options. Tons of options. To me, at least, I'm to the follow. And Kenzie, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Bush Gang. Okay. And let's first kiss it up. I think we're doing well. We're doing well. It's Jen! Thank you so much for the 11 months resale. We're almost at our one year anniversary, sweetheart. And Chelsea, thank you so much for that follow on Twitch. Tatiana, Renee, thank you so much for following my YouTube. And that is a reminder to those of you that are watching that maybe haven't heard of me before. If you want to see any of my old streams or my old challenges, uh, go check out my YouTube at HeyIshMandy or my TikTok or my Twitch. Please check out me on all those little platforms. My, I'm HeyIshMandy across the board, so. Easy to find me. But yeah, please go ahead and follow me on those things. I would appreciate it. Chaos won. I, chaos always wins. <laughs> right before he traveled, it looked like Natalie slapped him. No, she didn't. 
Can you repeat the name of where you get it, please? You cut out for my end on a second. Oh, God. Um, if you just Google Sims 4 loading screens, there is a different site that'll come up um, with a bunch of different options because... There's a lot of, there's a lot. People have made a lot of different uh, bat loading screen backgrounds. Um, so I couldn't tell you exactly what mine's called um, because I just kind of picked it from a listing. So, do, 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 to everyone who is just joining. Yes, we are playing Sister Wives, guys. I just watched the YouTube <laughs> where the I Can Be Bought was born. Yes, guacamole. <laughs> Back to our roots. Oh my goodness, guys, always remember, I can be bought. Alright, I think we can go ahead and ask her to be our girlfriend now. I think we have enough set up. And we are doing well in the romance category, it looks like, so I think we're going to do this. No problem, I wish I had a better answer for you, Wolfie. Are you going to do brother husbands? I need to do a brother husband <laughs> series. I've done sister wives. Technically three times. I'm sorry, what is she asking us? No, don't go order a drink. We don't want to drink right now. We have to... I'm just going to see if he can't propose to her tonight. Now let's listen. Happy or sad music. <gasps> Happy music! It's going to work! Oh, hottie vampire mama. Welcome to the family. Okay, and we have above a thousand dollars, so we are going to have to do an actual wedding with her. So, we're going to plan a wedding event, because we have the money technically for it. And if we have the money for it, we do have to do a wedding. Uh, with the first three wives, we just eloped because I just wanted to set up that they were his original wives. Uh, but now for any new wife we add in, we have to... And our bills shut off. Sweet. But for any new wife, we have to go ahead and set up a wedding. And it's still... Oh, no, it's about to be nighttime or daytime. I can't get married until later tonight. So we'll do a wedding tonight with them. Hopefully I have a chance to go ahead and make some more money. But I ended the date. We are engaged to Sophia Knight now. So we're going to head back home. Um, and since it's about to be daytime, I don't want to start the wedding because... I don't want her to fry at the altar in the sunlight. So <laughs> we'll just wait till tomorrow night to do a wedding just to make sure she doesn't die. What pack are you playing right now? All of them, but I'm in the horse ranch world. She will be the solid Robin of the group. No. <laughs> unfair to the other wives. I mean, it is kind of like the sob and Robin of the group. Look, they're already over here complaining. Okay. They're Oh, and they're all pregnant and they're all angry. Okay, okay, okay. We got one outside. We got one outside. We need to schmooze her up a little bit. Can we... I gotta fix things. So I'm gonna compliment her appearance. We gotta be careful and we gotta do okay, buddy. This is not the time to take a shower. We gotta do this quickly and we gotta do it. Oh, a passionate kiss. I didn't tell him to do that, but apparently he knows better than I do. I hope that goes well for us. Oh, she's still very angry at him. Will some of these flirtations work or will it make things worse? It's making things worse. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do that. I think we might have to wait till they calm down. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to wait until our wives calm down, I think, to try and work things out. We gotta work on that. Can we try and calm her down? Did it work? Nope, she's just yelling at him some more. You know, things are always a little rough when you add in a new wife to the family. Things get very heated. Um so it's gonna be a little tense it's gonna be a little tense for us for a second <gasps> she's happy okay let's try now let's try now blow her a kiss we'll try and do this you only have an outhouse wait oh no what if she needs to pee during the daytime 
Nope. Okay, she's not into it. She's not into the flirting yet. Help fix bad relationship. Do we have a bad relationship? Oh, no. We asked her to fix her bad relationship. No! Now the wives are fighting! No! That's not what we want! Oh, gosh. Now the wives are fighting. I mean, the vampire wife, she'll be able to run outside and go to the bathroom. Um, So long as she just doesn't stay outside for a long period of time, we should be fine. But we do need to upgrade the house. We do need to start making some expansions. And get other trailers for our other wives. <laughs> we need to start making a beautiful trailer park setting. With uh, all the different wives in their own trailers. But we don't have that luxury currently. Alright, so we're going to have to wait. For the wives to kind of get over it. And we'll see if we can't fix our bad relationships with them soon. Emma, thank you so much for the follow. Danny, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Bush Gang, guys. Oh my god, I was just watching your YouTube videos last night, and now you're on my TikTok. Aw, oh, Emma, I'm glad you're here, honey. <laughs> Marry a new wife. Yes, we're playing the Sister Wives Challenge. The only mod you need for this challenge to really work is the MC Command Center mod. Amanda Cook, thank you so much for the follow. Another Amanda in the chat, thank you. Lexi, thank you so much for the follow as well. Rundown Scrubs, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. I don't know how to make things better with the wives. Like, is there any smooth recovery for after they catch you flirting with a different lady? Can I promise to dedicate her a song? Oh, he did a slight kiss with her. Maybe I just need to let him auto autonomously do things. Like maybe I just need to hit, let him do what he's going to do with the wives. Because he fixed uh, her relationship a little bit. <gasps> See? Oh, wait. <gasps> no, not in front of her. No! Stop flirting in front of your wives! No! You idiot! Stop! 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 No! Stop! Stop! He keeps flirting in front of the other wife. We need to get different rooms. We need to, I don't know if I want to do trailer. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do every wife with the trailer. I think I just need more houses. Because if I keep doing trailers, they're all going to hang out in different sections. I think what I need to do is just make better houses. <laughs> I have jealousy on, so I'm trying to play with jealousy on this time around to make things a little bit more difficult for ourselves, but oh my god. <laughs> a town home, maybe? <gasps> that would be interesting, like a town home style. Charlie, thank you so much for the follow. Jen, <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Oh my gosh, I joined right at the right time. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Chelsea, thank you so much for the follow. Helena, H is it Helena? Thank you so much for the follow as well. Oh my gosh. Brady, thank you so much for coming in. Good Lord. Um, built right next to each other. Do some town rooms. Hmm, I'm gonna have to decide what we wanna do. I think first thing I need to do is make a double wide trailer situation. But they're going to be all going to work here in a second. <gasps> okay, so he has he has a better relationship with her all of a sudden. I'm going to see if I can't fix it now while the other wife has gone to work. Awkward deal. Try your best. We did that the last time. Performance game medium. Good. <laughs> all right, while she is the only wife here, I'm going to try our best to fix our relationship with our third wife. Cause she is the only one home currently because she's the only one that doesn't have a job. So I'm going to just plow through some romantic relationships and that bar is slowly rising. We're out of the red and we're back into the pink. So I'm going to hope that he doesn't ruin things in front of my other wives again. So how much did I ruin our relationship with the first wife? That's my new question. It's almost completely red. 
<laughs> our first wife is very angry, but our third wife was quick to forgive us. She doesn't care that much. Veronica is like, you know what? I get it. You know, it all happens. We just need to control ourselves in front of everybody and everything will be fine. I don't know why I give her this voice, but that's the voice I have for her. Um, she's like, we just need to control ourselves, you know, in front of everybody. Um, I think she's gearing to be the favorite wife. I think that's what she wants because she flirted back with him and he flirted with her right in front of the other wife and ticked them both off. Yeah, buddy, you need to go to work. Um, Veronica, you are in charge of going and finding things to do now. <laughs> you need to go make some money for us at home. While all of my other people need to not yell at your coworkers, work hard. God, I almost told her to yell at her coworkers. All right, I need you to go harvest some frogs and I need you to go fishing. If you do the free love neighborhood thing, you won't flirt without jealousy. I'm trying to do it with jealousy just to see if I can't try and avoid it and make things easier. I'm trying to make things harder on myself. I'm doing the sister wives challenge in honor of the sister wives uh, season 18 coming out. What in two days on the 20th? That's when it comes out. Yeah. So we're doing playing some sister wives in the Sims 4 in honor of the new sister wives uh, season coming out. Cause I'm very excited. I love that show. It's so funny to me. I mean, I don't love it for its morals. I just love it for the drama. I love it for the tea. Hmm. To all you guys watching on TikTok right now, I would really appreciate those follows. Thank you. And the likes. And those of you that are watching on Twitch, thank you so much for all the bits. Thank you for the love. <laughs> uh, Nicole, thank you so much for the follow. And Amanda, another Amanda. Welcome. The Amanda Club. Amanda, 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 <laughs> the downfall of the ramen noodle and ramen noodle hair cody brown we love the downfall of cody brown oh but that's funny because veronica's the one that's a jealous sim so the fact that she just forgave him so quickly is actually kind of funny do make shift apartments maybe i'll try and do an apartment kind of a look <gasps> natalie got promoted Congratulations, Natalie. Oh my God, God, what are we gonna do when they all have babies? We need to marry this other wife. No <gasps> Who just showed up? Okay, maybe you should have do a friendly introduction. Get to know the new wife that's coming into the house. This is gonna be wife number four. Um, and she showed up to talk to Natalie by herself, it looks like. So she's gonna congratulate. Maybe they could be friends. The two blondies be friends. That would be very cute. You know, like she doesn't, you know, she's very socially awkward. She's bad at these things. But Sophia saw her out to make a friendship and I love that for her. Marissa, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Jen, where's her outfit from? Are you talking about Veronica? Um, I couldn't tell you. It's not a together outfit. This is a separate skirt and a separate top. I can't I can't remember who the, the creator is. I got them a long time ago. I was worried that they were going to flirt in front of each other, but then I realized this is just the wives and that's probably not going to happen. Congrats. We are so excited for your engagement and can't wait for the wedding. Oh, Natalie, that was so sweet to say to Sophia. She congratulated her for her engagement. Um, and now she's going to share the big news with her and be like, hey, Sophia, I'm glad you guys are getting engaged because I'm pregnant and I could use the helping hand around here. And I think that's so cute. What was the poly mod you were referring to? Uh, Chasey, love. The mod that I use to allow my sims to be polyamorous is the MC Command Center mod. It allows you to do way more stuff than just polyamory in the game. Like, it's a incredibly in-depth mod. And if you ever download any mod in your game, get MC Command Center. It allows you to do way more things, like increase your, your household size, which I will be needing for this challenge. I will need to increase my household size to bring in a bunch of wives and be able to have a bunch of babies. So we're going to have to make our household size large for this challenge. Um, <laughs> so that, I think I might max it out at 50. I think that's a, probably a good place to stop is a, 50, a household of 50. 
Oh, I think if other than that, things might get too big. Mackenzie, thank you so much for the follow! When is your little bundle of joy arriving? Are you talking about me personally in real life? Because I'm... I have a four-month-old little boy right now. I've been... I've had him... I had him four months ago. And he is such a peach. Such a cute, happy, smiley baby. Tracy, thank you so much for the follow. Cassidy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Bush Gang, guys. All right. So she's going to be the fourth sister wife. And then <gasps> get her out of the sun. You, okay, she's got an umbrella. Good, 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 good. Okay, so she's not going to burn because she has her umbrella, right? For the love of God, do not flirt in front of your other wives or you're just going to make them mad. Roxanne, your first wife, is, is very angry at you still. And she is not okay with you. I think we should just have a gentle discussion with her. Why are you singing? Why are you just singing out here in the world? No, don't, don't romanticize them because his first wife is very angry. His second wife is still angry at him, but not as angry. So I think we might be able to, to fix their relationship in the future. First wife though, pissed. Pissed is she. They lured her out inside with no umbrella. Don't flirt with her. Oh wait, be flirted with. Did Sophia do it? Sophia, no. All right, get away from the wives. Get away from the wives. No, get away from them. No, 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 Roxanne is yelling at him again. No, Roxanne, I love you, please stop. Stop, Roxanne! Get inside, Cameron. Get inside. <laughs> he keeps flirting in front of it, or the other girls keep flirting in front of each other. Stop flirting! I think you did it. I think she flirted with Cameron right in front of her. She's like, "Yeah, you're mad. <laughs> That's rough." <laughs> She's like, "Yeah, he's all mine. I'm gonna be the new favorite. Get out of the way, first wife, because the most recent wife is here to play today." <laughs> Sarah Jen, thank you so much for the follow. Cassidy, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> oh no, Sarah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, is he serenading her? Oh god, he's coming in to cook. He's just singing a beautiful little song to her. And he's such a good singer, so it's actually not bad. Kind of vibe with it. <laughs> For those of you that are watching me on TikTok, I'm also live on Twitch, and I would super appreciate that follow on Twitch. It would really make my day because Twitch is the one that pays the uh, pays the paycheck, so I would appreciate it <laughs> if you have the ability. Twitch is free. Works just like YouTube and TikTok. All you got to do is download the app and make an account. That simple. All right, he... No, what are you planning on doing? What are you... I got to serenade. Okay, you can serenade. I don't think that's going to make them angry. I don't think I say... I think what's going to work the best for us as I continue to sp expand on this house is uh, to make it a double wide um, and have as many rooms as possible. I think a closed concept house for the Sister Wives Challenge would be terrible uh, because this is an open concept house right now and, and I'm dying because he keeps flirting in front of his other wives and we need something smaller. We need something more subtle. <laughs> So I'm thinking for the next house, that's what we do. All right, so we need to go ahead and plan our wedding right now, though. Because it's nighttime, so we can get married to our vampire without worrying about her baking in the sun. Lauren, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch. Welcome to the Twitch chat. Everybody, welcome Lauren into the Twitch chat. Give her a little shout out for joining our little family over here. All right. I don't have any Sims of Honor. I should ask my other first three wives to be the ones that do all this, but we don't have any friends yet. So it's just gonna be a small wedding. <laughs> it's gonna be a small little wedding. Uh, a spousal kiss, not required, but we will be exchanging vows. Um, maybe we can try and do a first dance. And a little speech. We'll try and do those three things at this wedding. And we're definitely going to edit her outfit because apparently she doesn't have one. 
And thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Bush Gang. All right, Sophia. She is a vampire, so I don't want to do a traditional white wedding dress with her. I want to keep it dark. So I feel like something mysterious is probably better for her. Because she's a vampire. I don't think she would do a white wedding dress. I feel like she wants to be a little more dramatic with it. Hmm, but what's her style? She's still a very stylish vampire, so it's not going to be a bad dress either. A Wednesday Adams dress. Do we use the Wednesday Adams dress? It does look very cute on her. Galaxy, thank you so much for the follow. Miss Marie, no. <laughs> All right, let me see, let me see. What other dress? I feel like this dress vibe could work. F no, actually, I don't like it. Ooh, this one. Ooh, that leg, though. Maybe she does wear white. But with red accents. Because this white version. Okay, what do you guys feel? Black version or white version? Which dress should she wear? Which one do you guys like better? Black or white? <gasps> we have a raid! We're raid! Ooh, who's the raid from? Let me see. I gotta see. I gotta look over here. Spirit PD, thank you so much for the raid. Can we get a shout out for Spirit PD? Thank you so much for bringing in your viewers. Hi guys, I am Hey Schmidty. Welcome to my community. This is the lovely little Bush Gangs. And today we are playing the Sister Wives Challenge and we're about to marry our fourth wife. Um, we're just picking out her wedding dress right now and most of the comments over here, I'm seeing more black, white. I'm seeing more people saying that she looks best in the black dress for the wedding. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Does any of her other clothes need changed while I'm in here? God, she's so attractive. All right, that was the only outfit that she needed changed. All right, but there we go. She is ready for this wedding. Cass, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Sorry, I had to leave for a bit to shower and eat. Experiment, honey, that, no problem. But uh, thank you guys, Spirit, again for that raid. And I hope you stick around for... Uh, this beautiful wedding that's about to take place. Um, but we'll see. Night residence. Let's do it at this wedding venue. Which I like the how they changed that setup. It's really nice. But everybody, please come in and take your seats. We're about to begin the wedding event. Make yourself comfortable. We're about to get started. Um, and I swear if any of you are wearing white, we'll be dumping red wine on you. 20 build mode objects have been removed. Ah, oh, great. What's missing? <laughs> All right. Oh, but I need to bring my other wives here. I'm sorry. The other wives do need to be here. It is a requirement that all wives must participate. So let me go ahead and get them all in their formal attire. Pregnant or no, in a bad mood or no, you all have to be here and dressed. I should have invited you guys. I kind of did forget. All right. So all of the first wives are here. And they are dressed for the event. Looking adorable. Let's have them go over here. And sit down. And probably in order of the marriage, right? Have them all come over here and sit. Let's send down two sims. We'll send down the beautiful wedding couple. And let's go, people. Oh, he's stinky for his own wedding. Dang it. I didn't think to have him shower first. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shoot. They're all walking. D oh, well, it's kind of fitting that all the wives are walking down the aisle together with him. <laughs> all right, but let's just capture that. All the wives walking down together, all passing them on the... It's kind of like symbolism, you know? They didn't get their own little wedding, so they're just here to show him up. <laughs> and walk down the aisle together with him for his the wedding of his fourth wife. So exchange vows and kiss Sophia Knight. 
Is the kiss part gonna make the other wives mad? Are his other three wives gonna get jealous of this wedding when they kiss? I hope not. Oh, you're just leaving? First wife can't even- <gasps> First wife storms away off the scene. She can't even witness this right now. She can't even witness this where she is going away. To smash! To smash! <laughs> you can just imagine her screaming <laughs> in the background right now. Oh, and then she calmly walks back center stage. All right. Oh, and the only, oh, all three wives storm off. They are all so mad at him right now. They're like, no, I do not accept the union of this fourth wife. They don't agree. They don't want it. They have all stormed off. They're going to go party and drink away their sorrows inside, but they are pregnant, so it's not any other drinking. <laughs> she can't fight her. She preggers. <laughs> Yes, all three of his other wives are pregnant right now, too. So he's marrying a fourth wife. His first three wives are all pregnant right now, and they're all very angry. They can't handle it. But, you know, we're here for this beautiful union of these two Sims in the meantime. Uh, Sophia Knight is going to become Sophia McLovin. She is joining the crew as wife number four. So do you just use the polyamorous cheat settings so they don't get jealous? Or I currently am playing with jealousy on... <laughs> because I wanted that little bit of extra drama right now, but we'll see how long that lasts. I'm gonna try my best to play with Jealousy on. So we're gonna try avoiding doing other interactions around the other wives. Um, I'm gonna have him try and only be affectionate with wives when he's alone with them. But we're gonna see how long that lasts. I'm gonna give it my all, I'm gonna really try. <laughs> I'm gonna really try. All right, so wife number four is here and ready. We're going to uh, consummate the marriage and make it official. Oh, wait, do we have a bush on lot? Do we have a bush on lot? All of our other wives have been thus pregnant by bush babies. Mm, there is no bush on lot. But you know what, hold on. We need to actually have the first dance first. Of course our party animal is out here already dressing things up, but hold on. Ceremony activities. Um, oh, no, hold on. I want to have their first dance. Yeah, slow dance together with no Sophia Knight. But look at his first wife, Roxanne, already getting it down on the dance. It doesn't matter that she is heavy pregnant. She is cutting the rug right now. She is getting down. Oh, my God. God. It's just so funny with her big pregnant belly and she is just boom, she is just busting it down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good lord, I can't. <laughs> he needs a shower. I he does need a shower, but Pregnant Sim in tight dress ain't stopping her. Oh, heck no! She's our party animal. Oh, Veronica, our other pregnant wife, is since got some grilled cheese and is eating on the dance floor while talking to the first wife. Our second wife, being the bookworm that she is, she is going to go browse the books up here. She's like, I am not here for a parting setting. Our bookworm wife is just coming over here. She's just gonna find herself a little book to read while everybody else parties. Oh my God, that's so her, that's so her. Oh, and they're out here dancing. Dang it, I missed it. They were out here dancing and I didn't even see it. Oops. Well, way to go, guys. <laughs> oh, gosh, buddy. Okay, so he is going to go over here and shower real quick. Uh, because he's really stinky. And then we'll have him come over here and consummate the wedding with Miss Sophia so we can get her pregnant, too. Ashley Wood, thank you so much for the follow. And Mackenzie, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Cassiopeia, thank you so much for the follow. Spirited PD, thank you so much for the follow. And that rain again, that was so very sweet of you. Lauren, thank you so much for the follow. Salted Veggie Chips, thank you so much for the follow. Shy Shy Mar, thank you for the follow as well. 
Thank you all so much. <laughs> all right, so he is taking a shower. Oh, oh, get it with the clogs. Get it with the clogs, Natalie. Show us what those clogs can do. Show us what those clogs could do. All the clog haters in the chat ain't gonna be hating on these clogs anymore. Look at her move. See, she's still socially awkward that she's dancing away from people behind this hedge, but dancing she is in them clogs, honey. Show us what them clogs can do, Natalie. <laughs> Dancing in my clogs tonight. I love how all the other wives are getting uh, down over here. First wife is, uh, she's decided that Roxanne is, she's got to pee. She's going to get off the dance floor for just a second. And who started the clogs bit, Mandy? I did. I started the clogs thing. I said clogs would be cute. And then all of a sudden, I started adding clogs to all of her outfits. And they're adorable. And you can't hate on these clogs. Look at them. Look at two stepping in these clogs. Two stepping in these clogs. You can't. You can't get. You can't handle all the clogs. You can't handle these clogs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just can't stop watching her dance in her clogs. I, they're perfect. They're beautiful. I can't. I, I'm going to have to get myself a pair of clogs. I'm going to have to buy myself a pair of clogs. Are they all in a polyamorous relationship? Yes. He has four wives now. We just added our <gasps> fourth wife into the family. I think. Did we not? I think when we end the event, then we add her to. The oh, <gasps> try for a baby in the hot tub. Oh, they were already woohooing. Oh, they're all. Oh, they planned on woohooing anyways. I didn't even tell them to do that. This is what they decided to do. They were already... They had already planned this. They had already planned this. I didn't have to tell them nothing. Okay. Okay. Krista, thank you so much for that follow, sweetheart. He's exhausted. Why does he look upset? Clogs are not comfy, but don't you dare say that. Clogs the baby out. Oh, God. <laughs> First muffins, now clogs. <laughs> Kaden, thank you so much for the follow, sweetheart. Welcome. Gigi, thank you so much for the follow as well. Welcome into the chat, guys. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the bush gang. But this might become clog gang now. It's clog gang, guys. It's no longer bush gang. It's clog gang. <laughs> gang gang. <laughs> Your face sack. Thank you so much for the follow, Chloe. Thank you for the follow, Bree. Thank you for the follow. Welcome into the bush gang, guys. <laughs> All right. Is she pregnant? I'm curious. All right. Let's go ahead and end the event. All right. So we're going to add her to the family. <gasps> they have 40,000. Okay. When we ever we add a new wife into the family, if they are coming from a different household and we're not bringing them over alone, do we only bring over half the money or do we bring over? Should we divide the money out by how many Sims are staying in the household? Or do we divide or do? I feel like we shouldn't take all of the money. If like now, if the Sim is coming into our household and they're coming by themselves, I think we can take as much money as they're bringing into the household. That's fine. But if we have to split up a household, I feel like we should only take half. Or half the amount that, uh, leave only one dollar. I, I, this is not the Black Widow challenge. Gein, this is not the Black Widow challenge. <laughs> I know when we did Black Widow and we would leave a family, we'd leave them a dollar. But this is not the Black Widow challenge. This is half, half. I do half, half, half. Ky 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 Ken Kenley, thank you so much for the follow. I, well, I had a spasm reading that. Take half of it, half the amount, 30K, 30K, half the amount, leave a dollar, leave a dollar. <laughs> I would do half. We're just going to do half. We're going to be fair. We're only going to take 20,000 for the new wife. Don't worry, guys. We're going to make a lot of money. Every time he marries a new wife, chances are we're probably going to be getting $20,000. So don't worry. This is going to go greatly into expanding our little trailer. 
Um, hopefully every wife can get their own room soon. Hopefully we can get a living room, a separate dining room, and a kitchen area. So hopefully he can have spaces that hopefully flirting with the wives in front of other wives will not happen as often. I'm sorry. Oh, I need to bring all my sims here. Apparently they didn't automatically come here. All right, we have our fifth, or our fifth, our fourth wife entering the household. Now we need to expand this household. We have babies coming. We need a nursery. We need we need separate rooms for these wives. Okay, we have twenty five thousand dollars to work with. This trailer is about to look a little less like a trailer. We don't need a double wide. We need a very wide. We need wide. Maybe these bunks can go in the kids' rooms. Hopefully I can get all the wives their own little split up here soon. All right, how do I wanna do this? I'm gonna try and give each wife their own little room if I can manage. It's gonna be only a tiny nine by nine tile rooms maybe to start. But I'm gonna try and create four no, I need five bedrooms because I need a nursery. So I have a little living room into the kitchen and then a hallway area with a room for every wife. Maybe it'll be that. Oh, I need... Let's pull it out one more. And then we'll have the hallway be a two by two tile slot. And then we'll do four by three for all the bedrooms. I think that's fair, right? I think that should be good. All right, that's bedrooms. And then we'll do one big room at the end of the hall for all of these babies that are about to come into the house. I know it's not pretty. I'll be uh, fixing things as we go. Right now, I'm just gonna do some placeholders in the house. And I would like different windows because I don't want to do this little trick that they did with all the windows. Except for that one, I think that one's kind of cute. I'm gonna leave these in front right now. But we need to make this house a little brighter inside. I don't know why. It's not, oh, is it the problem? What's the problem here? Why is it not lighting up inside? All right, I got rid of the lights for a second. Let me add in the light. Okay, there we go. All right, one life in the living room, one in the kitchen. Delete this in the hallway. A light down the hallway and a light for each mom. Hopefully I can just get enough to give each mom their own person. I want all of the bedrooms for the wives to be, uh, reflect their personalities. So I'm gonna try and do things that way too. Um, I'll probably spend more time on it in the future. For now, I'm just gonna put up some placeholders. Some different colors. Try and give us that different feel. And then the nursery. Do a cute little yellow. Oh, I didn't put a light in the nursery, oops. Jessica, thank you so much for the follow. Katie, thank you for the follow. Janessa, hi, hi, hi. Janessa, Janessa? All right, and then I'm gonna try and give everybody at least one window. What windows do I want for the trailer house? I can't go expensive. I can't go expensive. Are these the ones that are film? No, no, they're clear. Good. All right, let's try and do one little window in each room so they don't feel so claustrophobic. And one right here in the living room. And one here in the kitchen, just to kind of split things up for now. Oh, doors, God, I need doors. And I will try and make the house look better and better as we go. For now, I'm just trying to do a quick setup. Another room, another room, another room. I would like it to look there, all going the same direction. And every wife will get some basic carpet in their room for now. In the nursery. There. All right, now a bed for every wife. Amanda Heron, thank you for the follow. April, thank you for the follow as well. Yes, we're doing the sister wives challenge. So right now we're trying to give 
every wife their own bedroom. I'm gonna put these in our inventory for now because they'll go for the kids when they're a little bit older. But for now, we're just gonna put all the cribs in there. Oh gosh, do I have enough room in every bedroom for the beds? Am I gonna have to make the beds bigger? Because I wanted to give every white, no. Can they fit in that? Can they fit there? All right, so this is Veronica's bedroom. Would they be able to fit? <laughs> Can they fit that? Another. Oh, these bedrooms are all gonna look like garbage so far, but we'll see. If you wanna watch this in between, huh? Yes, thank you. Do you have a bathroom? Uh, we have an outhouse. We have an outhouse right now, but you're right. I probably should get rid of the outhouse and uh, put a better bedroom in the house for the wives. I'm sure they would appreciate that greatly. All right, this one will be my bookworms bedroom. I'm gonna do some different styled beds and stuff in here to uh, set the wives apart. And then for my vampire waifu, I kind of like this bed for her because it's very dramatic, but I'm second guessing this wall color. It doesn't fit the vampire. Um, that fits a vampire aesthetic. I've got to make every room match this new wife. Hmm. Blonde, thank you so much for the follow. Lord, thank you for the follow. Brenda, thank you so much for the follow as well. We are doing the Sister Wives Challenge. I just need a black simple bed. Unless I do this one. But then is there favoritism? It's the fourth wife. I mean, she'd probably demand more from him. Oh, she's... She's a vampire. Technically, I should probably do a casket, but... I need a jet, an actual bed for them right now. Heather, thank you so much for the follow. Brooklyn, thank you for the follow. Kay, thank you, or Wags, thank you for the follow as well. I'm gonna leave the nursery open for now. Mm. Ew, I hate how that's almost on the green side of things. Take that back, I don't like that. I just want every room to be very different. Oh gosh. Alexis, Abby Oaks, Kristen, no. Krista, thank you so much for the follow as well. Barry, thank you so much for the follow. Mariah, thank you for the follow. I think pink would be cute in this room. This is gonna be like old style. <laughs> yeah, where like all, like, you know, the, the bedroom carpets were always colored different in every room. I think that just right now, it feels like that trailer park style where every room's got its own carpets and they're all colored differently. All right, there is every wife's different bedroom and we have $7,000 and I'd like to save the rest uh, for now, just because I don't know what is all gonna pop up. Oh wait, I need to create a living room still. Oh gosh, okay. I need a little living room section here. What kind of couch do I want? I don't want them to feel super rich yet. I kind of want it to feel like, you know, they're just that average American household. I kind of want something on the messier side of things. I don't want pink. I, I'm not a pink girly. Yeah, that's very cute. I love the blues and the yellows and the contrast of that feeling. I do like it a lot. I feel like a rug is very much needed. So we'll get a rug. Actually, I feel like I should have the couch over here facing this way with a little end table and a TV on top of that. And a bookshelf for my bookworm wifey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trying to be quick on this decorating process. I'm just trying to fill the house up so it's a little bit more lively real quick. Uh, but I'll be getting right back to the gameplay here in two seconds. Trust me, I don't like to try and spend too, too much time on decorating if I don't have to. 
but I'm just gonna do this to make the house a little bit more homey and a little less trashy looking. Um, okay, electronics. Let's get everybody a nice little TV. They deserve it. In our trailer park trash, we deserve a nice, nice little house. Nice little cozy home. I feel like the trunks looks nice. I always love this little trunk. It's very good. We'll do that one. And, oh, dang it, that one would have been a nice one. But we'll do the tiny little one. No. We'll do a moderately sized one, right? We'll do a moderately sized TV because they deserve it. They like that. Actually, I don't want to block. I can't handle the two different style windows here. We'll do that. And this. All right. And then a rug. And that'll be the last thing I kind of add right now because I don't want to fill the house up too much yet. I just wanted things to feel a little nicer in the house. That way the kids and like, I can imagine like the toddlers playing over here with their little toys and stuff soon when they're born. I think that'll be really cute because we have to save back enough money. So we're gonna have babies and we need to have <laughs> enough money to support these kids. So we're gonna put a couple toys out here for the kids to play with. A couple little baby toys for all of these kids that are about to roll up in this house. Lord knows that's going to be fun. And we'll do this little bookshelf because it's cute. All right, where is the, the xylophone? That's the last thing I wanted to add was the xylophone. Oh, oh, why do they make the dollhouses so massive? I want a cute little one. Hate the big ones. So disgusting looking. Um... I wanted to add the xylophone, but I can never freaking find it. I guess blocks will do. All right, there we go. I'm gonna call that it for the uh, the house right now. Oh, our power is out. I think I need to pay the bills. All right, our wives are here. Let's get the mail, pay the bills, and assign every wife to their room. We'll have them all go sleep in their different beds so that each wife knows which bed is theirs. All right, all four of the wives, bedtime. Go to bed, my ladies. You're all beautiful, gorgeous, and possibly pregnant. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if Sophia got pregnant, but we did try for a baby with her, so we'll see if she did or not. It'll be a day or so, and then we'll find out. If she's not pregnant, we'll have him try again. <gasps> He's choosing to go sleep in Sophia's bed. <gasps> He didn't sleep in any of the other ones. He chose his mo- I mean, it is their honeymoon night. Okay, it is their honeymoon night. I feel like I can't- I can't blame him too much. It is their honeymoon. Of course, he would pick to sleep in his fourth wife's bedroom. I just feel like- Um, how did you make the rug bigger? So once you're selecting an object, you can hit- I think it's what, the bracket keys? Um, and that'll size things up and down. Uh, Spider, thank you so much for the follow. Samantha, thank you so much for the follow. Macy, thank you for the follow. Anya, thank you for the follow. Elizabeth. Gabby, thank you for the follow as well. Sheldon, thank you. I had no idea. No problem. Ari, thank you for the follow. Rebecca, thank you for the follow as well. Is there a bathroom? There's an outhouse that I forgot to add a bathroom still, but it's fine. The outhouse will do for now. Caitlin, thank you so much for the follow. Layla, thank you for the follow. Alexa, Jade, thank you for the follow. Lucy, what packs do you have? Every single one, except for a few kid packs. I have every expansion pack, game pack, stuff pack, and only a few kid packs, because I think the kid packs are garbage. Kayla, thank you so much for the follows. And do I need to say anything on Twitch? Uh, who been, 
Hovi and Simmer, thank you so much for that follow on Twitch. Miss Corey, thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. Gracie, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Anthony, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Mushroom, thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. Please make sure you welcome all of them into the Twitch gang. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on over to Twitch. I super appreciate. Wait a minute. Oh, Cal, no, thank you so much for that follow on Twitch as well. Thank you. Lucy. Em, you've already followed. Get out of here. Mariah, thank you. The doorbell is a bit annoying. I do need to get rid of it. I didn't realize that it was going to be a thing. This is my first time doing it this setup. So either I will turn the doorbell down or get rid of it in the future. Because I do agree, it's kind of annoying. I do like having some notif notification sound, though, for followers. But a different one would probably be better. All right. Now my vampire wife. My beautiful, beautiful vampire wife. Stay in the house and do not get burnt. Okay? I don't need you causing trouble for the rest of us. So stay here. Don't give me that look. Stay in the house. When the sun's out. Sun is bad. Inside good. Good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Doom, doom, doom. Marcy, thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. Chat, or I Kiki, thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. Kitsu, thank you so much for gifting two subs to the community. That's so nice of you. Uh, Lil Wa Ewok and Campfire Baker, if you're here watching, please make sure you say Kitsu be. is the greatest person ever in the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Brooklyn, thank you for the follow. She is so pretty. Selena, thank you for the follow. I know, she's adorable. Is it worth getting the vampire pack? I actually think the vampire pack was very cute. So I like it, but I'm not sure. Um, oh. Occults are not everybody's thing, but I think that, I think the vampire pack was actually a really good one. Okay, question. Do we give Sophia a job? <gasps> Maybe that'll keep her from being outside in the sun. Do we give her a job? What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Should we get her a job? Max Cherie, thank you so much for that follow, honey. Honestly, I just want it for the teeth. <laughs> there is uh, custom content for the teeth, too, but... Yes, she should get a job. Yes, yes. Mackenzie, thank you so much for the follow. Yes, give her a job. She can be a caregiver for all the kids. I feel like that's going to be our third wife who refuses to get a job, Veronica. But I feel like she probably is not the one that likes kids, but... Check if she's preggers in the toilet. We're not going to be checking if our sims are pregnant. Um, we're just going to be letting them tell us if she's pregnant or not. If she's not pregnant by the end of the night, like she doesn't show us any signs of her being pregnant, we'll have him try for a baby with her again. Um, but I want to keep it kind of a surprise if certain sims are pregnant or not, so we're not going to spoil it. But I'm seeing most of you guys are saying definitely get her a job. Veronica needs to get a job. Elo, if she... She's a founding wife. The founding wives need jobs. Um, let me see. Is there any job that I feel like fits her? Veronica is our current stay-at-home wife. Her and the other should be a stay-at-home mom for the babies. Did they try for a baby or just woohoo? They did both, I thought. This is the Sister Wives Challenge in honor of the new Sister Wives seasons coming out in two days. I adore Sister Wives, so we're doing this for funsies. Um, a career for her. How about the next wife could be a stay-at-home wife, maybe? I just want to send my vampire. I need her to get a job that's, like, during the day because it'll get her out of the house and I won't have to worry about her burning. I feel like a criminal career, that's late, mainly a late-night job, and I don't want that for her. I want her to get a job. Maybe she's an actress. No, that involves too much work for me. Doctor... She is secretly a Carlisle. She's a doctor. I've decided. That's where she gets blood. She sees it from the hospital. Yes. Oh my gosh. I feel like she would be a nurse so she can steal blood. Game me and you. Me and you, same thought, sweetheart. A mixologist so she can make some Bloody Marys, but actual blood. Uh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got four wives in. Our second wife, Natalie, is headed off to work. I think these girls are going to be popping anytime soon. If not, that might happen next stream. No, it'll happen tonight. We still have a whole hour of stream left. So we'll most likely be having these babies today. 
So I hope you're ready for all of these children to be born. And I hope you guys are ready to give me some cute name suggestions. So start thinking of your favorite names in your head right now. Um, so when she get, they give birth, I can ask you guys what you'd like to name them. Where is the pond where we fish? I always lose it. There it is. And look for more frogs. And I need you to go fishing. There we go. Are you going to uh, work today, buddy? Just saying. The real question is, are you ready? <laughs> you had me at a secret, Carlisle. <laughs> How hard is it to become a streamer? It's different for every person. Sometimes you get lucky um, and you get a good following right away. And sometimes it takes years and years and years. And then you, you know, you slowly build your community one by one. It's different for every person. It depends on your personality, your vibes. Um, I'd say if you're just playing games, you're not talking, it's probably gonna be a lot harder for you. You have to be really confident talking to nobody. Because when you first start up, you're gonna have no viewers. You're gonna have nobody watching. Um, chances are. So you're gonna have to get used to talking by, by yourself and making up conversation. Because somebody comes into your life and they're listening, and you're not saying anything and you're just <laughs> not many people are going to stick around so you're going to be interesting you're going to get, get some stuff going that's my best advice for you be yourself but talk silent streamers don't get a lot of um with mc command center you can add more people to a lot yes mc command center is a great 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 um mod it allows you to have bigger households change different settings in your game. Um, it allows you to have polygamy in the game and stuff like that. So get MC Command Center. It's the only mod that you really need for this challenge. Um, so you can increase your household sizes and be able to um, have actual wives, like marry a bunch of simps. These are not just his girlfriends. These are all his wives. His first wife is his legal wife. She is the wife that appears on paper for him. Like if I were to pull up his family tab, It'll show his first wife is his wife. But if I go into the relationship panel, see, it's a, it shows his first wife being the only wife that is listed in his family panel and vice versa. But if I was to go to his fourth wife here, see, they're flirting and no other wives are around. It's nice. Um, but if I was to go into their relationship panel with him. Oops, hold on. And I would click Sophia and I'll open the profile. It does say over here that she is his spouse. So she is legally married to him in The Sims, but it will always for him only pop up that uh, she, um, that his first wife is his only wife, but they all are technically married. As a streamer, I cannot, I can't, I can't do wicked whims on the game. I just can't risk um, indecent exposure. So I probably will never get wicked whims while I'm a streamer. I mean, I've played around with wicked whims myself um, before I was streaming for a bunch of people, but I can't risk the nudity. I'm not getting in trouble. I'm not getting rid up. Um, are the all wives married to each other or just him? Good question. No, the wives are not all married to each other. The night, the wife, the knives. The wives can, though, um, have relationships with each other. Um, if, you know, mood strikes and they would like to flirt with the other wives, they can do that. And they do have the ability to do that. So if Sophia were to have a crush on Veronica, they can flirt and they can date. Uh, but no, the wives are not married to each other. They're sister wives um, is the term technically, when all of when all the same women are married to one man. Um, he's married to all the women, but the women are not married to each other. They are just in a partnership with each other to help raise children. I had so much anxiety sending that. <laughs> sending what? What, what, what Sammy? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, honey, don't be, don't have anxiety about that. It's fine. Thanks, thank you so much for the follow. You can ask whatever your questions you want, as long as they're like, you know, 
not rude, I guess I would say. <laughs> like, don't ask me weird stuff. But yeah, if you have questions about The Sims or like the challenge, yeah, go ahead and ask them. Don't be afraid. This is a beautiful safe space community. We are a very loving community here. What happens if they flirt in front of him? Now the jealousy issue is a problem. The jealousy issue is a problem. <laughs> Because if he flirts or kisses another wife in front of another wife, the other wives do get married or do get very upset. So you do have to be kind of secretive and be very careful. Um, but sometimes the other wives, they kind of just want to piss each other off and start drama. So they will go up to him and kiss him in front of the other wife and the other wife will get mad. So it's kind of like they're, they create their own little drama a lot. Sheena, thank you so much for the follow. But yeah, they will get jealous. Ashlyn, thank you so much for that follow on Twitch. Red Enix, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Twice, thank you so much for the follow on Twitch as well. Thank you so much for all of you that are coming over to Twitch and giving me a follow. I super, super appreciate that. It is the best way to make my day because Twitch is the one that pays the bill. <laughs> and I appreciate that. I mean, it's not all about, you know, getting paid. But in this economy, a little bit. <laughs> And if you do have Amazon Prime, reminder, you can subscribe on Twitch for free every month. So if you've been debating about it, if you have Amazon Prime, you can hook your Amazon Prime account up to Twitch and subscribe for free. And it, it is a great way to um, support your favorite streamers and hoping that they will continue to do this. Now, this is dangerous because his first wife is very angry at him for kissing her in front of him. She is in a very okay relationship with him. And so... I have to be very careful with him sitting in between these two wives right now because if he were to flirt with another wife, one could get very angry at him. And I'm not here for that. Where is the nerdy wife? She is currently at work. Veronica is over here fishing. Natalie, wife number two, is currently at work. She's a teacher. So she won't get off for another couple hours. Um, but she is home from work. Did she get fired? <gasps> Did she get fired? Why is it not listing a career? She got fired! She got fired! What happened? Fired, bad news, Roxanne was just fired from her job. How did she get fired? <gasps> Roxanne, what happened at work? She just randomly got fired. I it doesn't even tell me why she got fired. Why did she get fired? Did I make a selection? <gasps> did I? I made the selection. I didn't think I, I didn't read it. I thought it was just one of those random pop-ups. I did it. I made her lose her job! I made her lose her job! Oh no! Oh, Roxy and Baby, I'm so, I'm so red right now. I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry, Roxy! Oh, can you do Polly on The Sims or on PlayStation 4? I don't think so because you need mod. You need a mod to do polyamorous relationships. I am so sorry, Roxy! Buddy, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to take your wife out on a date. She had a bad day today, and I, uh, <laughs> I think we should take her out on a date if she'll let us. Can we take her out on a date? I feel so bad. I didn't mean to do that to her. Where's the date option? Can I, I wanna take her out. She deserves a date. We're gonna, I'm gonna go out with her. It may not be official a date, but I'm gonna take her with me. I feel so bad. You said for her to pre prepare the others. Oh. Okay, we're gonna take her out on a little date. We're gonna go to the park, So I feel bad. No, let's go take her to the pool. No. Yeah, let's take her to the pool. Cool off in this hot day. Roxanne, my love, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
I did it! I just sometimes those pop-ups come up and I just click one. I didn't think about it. I didn't think about it. <laughs> Bridget, thank you so much for the follow as well. Um, Edel Kitty, thank you so much for the follow. Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Erica, thank you for the follow. Roxanne says you are all fired. Look, I didn't mean it. Okay, honey, you don't have to wear your work uniform anymore. You can, uh, here, it's a hot day out. Put put your hot weather outfit on. All right, we're, we're together. We're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna make up for this. <sighs> okay, hold, I'm gonna try it. No, let's let's just do let's we'll be a little more subtle. Don't go straight for that hot tub. Turn around. Come oh, yeah. swoon your wife. She's having a bad day. You need to cheer her up. Okay, you can get further than twenty feet away from her. Dang it, she's really mad. She's so I'm so sorry. <gasps> she gave him a kiss on the cheek! <gasps> Maybe she's starting to forgive us! Oh, maybe she's starting to forgive us. Oh, that would be so nice. I feel so bad. I didn't mean to get her fired. Mia, thank you so much for the follow. That kid looks like Ariel. What kid? I have Ariel in my game. Oh. Who's this child? Tracy fires. She does have red hair, and she it is long and voluptuous. All right, she's not vibing with our humor right now. Oh my god, she's going into labor! Which means the other wives are- oh, okay. I take it back, we need to go home. We need to go home, she's in labor. Home birth! Home birth! Or do we take her to the hospital? Let's take her to the hospital, the other wives- kiss my butt. We're going to the hospital. Can I? No, I can't take all the other wives with us. We're going to the hospital. Oh. I would much rather have this baby in the hospital. Because we'll say that we went out to take her out on this beautiful date, and all of a sudden she just went into labor. Mm -mm. I have it saved on my gallery, which is Hey Ish Mandy. Um, but I did not build it. I edited it a little bit to my own personal taste, but yeah, I did get it from the gallery. I just searched public pool. Um, and you'll find a lot of cute options. All right. And the daddy's not going to leave this time. He's actually going to come with us, honey. I know you're in the middle of having your baby. Um, but okay. You're going to throw out trash right now. Really? That's what the first thing on your mind instead of pushing this baby out of you. Who's our... Our front desk receptionist. Fucking save, Josie! Okay, 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 I'll save. Can I save? I can save. All right, I'll save. Who's yelling at me to save? A lot of you, but <laughs> Athena. <laughs> Whenever you guys play that sound, I have to save. It's rules. I just ate Fazoli's. <gasps> I had Fazoli's. Oh, you're saying that because of my Fazoli's cup. <laughs> I thought it was like a brain melding moment right now, Mackenzie. I thought. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I thought you were saying you also had Fazoli's just randomly. Like a cliche moment that happens, but no, I realize you saw my cup. <laughs> Oops. Okay, buddy, this is not the time to find random hookups online. You're here to have a baby. Alright. Alright, but remember guys, keep your baby name minds or uh, baby name options in your mind right now because when she has this baby whether it's a boy or girl I'm gonna be asking you guys uh, what you want to name the baby so be ready to throw those out I'm gonna pick my five favorite name suggestions and then over on Twitch I'm gonna be posting the poll so you can only technically vote um, for the five names that I pick if you're on Twitch so that is the reason to switch over to Twitch I do all of my polls on Twitch um, but I will still take name suggestions from those of you that are on TikTok so I'll be reading both chats to look for names. But we'll see what happens first. But to actually vote on the poll, it'll be on Twitch. All right, guys, I am going to need baby boy names. I'll pick my five favorite baby boy names from chat. And then 
Twitch will vote for that name for 60 seconds. Oh, that's a cute one. I like that name a lot. <gasps> oh. If I had another boy, I would love to name it, him this, but I think it'd be too close to my son's actual name. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I like that name. That is really cute. Um. <laughs> Oh, in honor, in honor of the actual sister wives, I have to throw this one in there. All right. One more name. Mackie, thank you so much for the follow. One more name, and I think I'm going to go ahead and send this poll out. Asher, Steel, Chase. Oh, you're like, okay. All right, I picked my five favorite name suggestions and then Twitch chat right now is gonna be voting. So Twitch chat has 60 seconds to vote on the name of the kid. If you do not see the poll on Twitch, refresh and it'll pop back up. Twitch chat is voting between the name Milo Riker, which I love that name. If I didn't name my son Ryder, I would have named him Riker. Um, Asher Cody for the actual sister wives main man and Aiden. Those are the five names that I picked for the Twitch chat to vote on. They have about 35 more seconds and then the poll will be posted and I will name that baby whatever we name it. As of right now, Cody is taking a strong lead in first place right now, uh, followed by Riker in second place, but Riker's pulling back up. Riker's pulling, oh, R Riker might win. Riker might win. Riker's really moving on forward. Oh, Riker is taking first place as the name. Oh. But it's starting to stand still. Nope, Cody is still going down. About 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And the name of our first baby boy is Riker McLovin. If I didn't name my son Ryder, I think Riker would have been my next favorite name. I like it a lot, but Ryder won me out. But Riker it is, and she had one baby. So little Riker is the first baby to be born in the sister wives challenge and of course he was born by the first wife so that is nice our first little boy is born hello little riker so cute i can't wait to age him up uh and see what he looks like because you guys know me i never keep him on newborns they have to at least go to infants right away but all right, let's go home because I'm sh I'm sure our other wives are pregnant right now and going into labor. So we might be coming right back to the hospital in like two seconds. Brittany, thank you so much for the follow. Whoa, she's gorgeous. Thank you. I felt so too. We made um, the first three wives and the husband in my stream yesterday. And if you want to check out my stream yesterday, check out my YouTube and my Twitch where I post all of my old streams. I just realized, did I ever add a roof to this house? <laughs> nope, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. Who's that? Who sees the roof anyways? And yep, this wife is in labor. So we are going to go right back to the hospital to give birth to the second wife, baby. <laughs> All right. Um, Twitch. Mads Vader, thank you so much for that follow. Nay K, thank you for the follow. Athena, thank you so much for all those bits. Kenzie, thank you for the follow. Moon Love Cheese, thank you for the Twitch follow. Sarah, thank you for, so much for the Twitch follow as well. Kelloggins, thank you so much for the follow. Curious Minx, thank you for the follow. Shayna, thank you for the follow. Caddy, thank you for the follow. Sammy B, thank you for the follow. Ashley, thank you for the follow. C Red, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of those Twitch follows. Welcome to the Bush Gang. Welcome everybody into the chat, those of you that are watching on Twitch right now. Um, Britt, thank you for the follow as well. Banana Anna! I love that name, that is so cute. Thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. Thank you. All right, so second wife is here to have a baby. What do you guys think? Do you guys think she's gonna be having a baby boy or a baby girl? I kind of hope Veronica has a girl. I don't know why, she just seems like a girl mom to me. But what do you guys think, boy or girl? Girl, you think she's gonna be having a girl? Kenzie, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch. I appreciate that so much. Thank you.
another boy. We have two boy moms. All right, guys, put those boy names in the chat. I will be picking my five favorite names from both chats. So I'll be looking at Twitch and TikTok for this baby name. So put your five favorite boy name or your favorite boy name in the chat and I'll be picking my five favorites. Twitch chat will take a 60 second vote and we will have our baby boy name. Let's see. Ooh, I like that. I feel like she would have very posh boy names. Like very out there because Veronica is Veronica. Oh, I like that one. Yes. Um. Oh, that one's so cute. I had a couple kids in daycares with that name. It was always such a cute name. Always the sweetest boys with that name, with the name Everett too. At least in my opinion. Oh, that's a different one. All right, I have picked my five favorite boy names in the chat. Twitch chat, you guys are gonna vote for 60 seconds and then that will be the baby boy name. For those of you that would like to vote in the future, please make sure you join us on Twitch. That's where I post all my polls. So if you want to actual sway in the baby name, that's what we're gonna pick. But the names that they are picking from is Rowan, Ezra, Parker, Everett, or Winslow. Those are the five baby boy names that I picked from the chat randomly. Um, so you guys have about 40 more seconds to cast your vote. Right now, Ezra is in the lead with Parker in second and Everett in third, but they're all kind of starting to tie out right now. Parker and Everett are building. Ezra's going down. And I think Parker, nope, Ezra's still in first place, followed by really, followed really closely by Parker. Everett is dropping in third place. Ezra and Parker, Ezra and Parker. Ezra is still first. Five, four, three, two, one. Kids, thank you so much for that Twitch follow, by the way. And Ezra is our baby boy name. I'm pretty sure one of my followers has a kid, followers has a kid named Ezra, if I remember correctly. I swear one of you guys have a boy. All right, Ezra. Thank God it was just another single baby. This is just, a, I'm not used to having single babies. I just got done with the 100 baby challenge and she was popping out twins with every single pregnancy. So single babies are a welcome sight for me. Selena Harris, thank you so much for that follow on Twitch. Thank you, honey. Erica, sister wives challenge. Yes. The sister wives challenge. Our one man here is married to multiple wives. All right, Veronica, our third wife just gave birth to another baby boy. Um, and now they're gonna head home because I'm pretty sure our second wife, Natalie, is about to get, you're really making a dessert right now. You're gonna be back at the hospital in two seconds. You are gonna be back at the hospital in two seconds because I'm pretty sure your third wife is in labor currently too. <laughs> but one man is married to multiple women. He is going to be working on courting more women in the future. We're gonna try and have them all live in the same household. He has to try and keep a good relationship with every single wife, which is hard to do because if he flirts or kisses another wife in front of another wife, they get mad and jealous um, and throw a whole fit. So we do have another wife in labor right now. Our third wife, Natalie, is having her baby. So we are running right back up to the hospital to give birth. My Twitch name is Hey Ish Mandy, same as TikTok. There's a link in my TikTok bio that will take you straight on over to Twitch if you are interested. Um, otherwise, you can just search me at Hey Ish Mandy on Twitch. Um, and thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for those of you that are coming on over to Twitch. I really appreciate that so much. You don't even know. All right, honey. She is here in that hospital gown and ready. Dad, this is your. <laughs> This is, this is not your first time being here today. And I'm assuming this is where we're going to be giving birth. The doctor is already waiting at the machine. Cause you know, she just got here. Oh, he was going to go grab his dessert. He left in the microwave, but I stopped him. All right. Natalie, our third or our second wife, sorry, is giving birth. Dad is in the room. He's unaffazed this time. He, oh, never mind. He was panicking. <laughs> Which sim is this? This is second wife Natalie. I love her hair. Her hair is gorgeous. It's made by Natalie A Atar A A A Doherty. It's N A is the symbol. Whenever I look at the hair, I always forget the name of the creator. Though and Dad just left. Oh, 
Natalie, he's been here twice. Or three times now. He doesn't care about you anymore. He's seen enough of his kids be born for the day, so... Whatever, crossing our fingers for a girl. I hope it's a girl. I really want a girl. No, come on. <laughs> Another boy. We are first three babies are boys. So I will take your boy name suggestions in the chat. I will be picking my five favorite baby boy names. And then on Twitch, we will be doing a poll for those baby names. So I will take any of those name suggestions right now. Okay. Okay, for her baby name vibes, I feel like she is more um, calm and, like, very sweet-sounding baby names for her baby. I don't know why. She's just a very, like, shy personality. So I think very sweet um, little boy names is what she would probably go for. You know, something very cute. All right, one more name. One more name from the suggestions. And... All right, I picked my five baby names. Twitch chat, you guys can go ahead and start vo voting. If you do not see that poll, just refresh and the poll should pop up. Uh, Twitch chat, have fun. The name, op or name suggestions that Twitch chat is currently voting right now are Liam, Finn, Samuel, Tommy and Milo. Those are the five baby names that we have picked. Liam currently is in first place, followed closely by the name Finn, and third place is Milo. Allie Bear, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Rosie and to Kind. That is so kind, Armadillo. Please, um, Rosie and Kind Armadillo, please say thank you to Allie Bear if you're here watching for those gifted subs. That is very, very sweet of them. Angelina, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Milo has taken over in first place, followed by Liam and followed by Finn. So Milo is winning by a long shot right now. With Samuel in last, Tommy in fourth, Finn in third, Liam in second, and Milo in first. And Milo takes it. All right, Milo McLovin. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hit my mic, but Milo McLovin. That name is so perfect. I love it. And another single baby. So we had all boys. We had three back-to-back -back boys. You know what though? What a proud papa in this moment. You know, he's got three boys. He's trying to bring the boy population in this house up. Why is she still pregnant? I mean, pregnant women, your baby, your baby belly does not just disappear when you get off the table. So that is probably a little more realistic that she still has a pregnancy belly right now. I just find that funny. Uh, because in The Sims, it usually pops down to, oh, she has a trim figure current right away afterwards. But no, this is more realistic. You still have that baby belly for a little bit after you give birth to your baby. It does not just disappear as soon as the baby's out. Like, yeah, it drops a little, but it's still there. Maddie, thank you so much for the follow. I'm crying. I can't. Samuel, why? <laughs> Our vampire wife is going to have the girl. You know what? If I get to 215 subs, I'm currently at 210. I just need five more subs. I will personally make sure our vampire wife is pregnant with a girl. So if I get five gifted subs in the Twitch chat, I will go ahead and make sure for sure that we have a baby girl from our vampire wife. Athena has already thrown out one of those gifted subs. Kim Trash, thank you so much. And then please say thank you to Athena for that gifted sub. All right, I need to put all of these baby boys in the nursery. All right, this is our first son. He's going to go right here. And I, yeah, I think they're all. I can't be. Ooh, here comes another one. Stormy, thank you so much for subbing. And for gifting a sub to the community, that's three. Lainey, these are gifting a sub to big BGKL pets. And I think that is five. So I'm going to go ahead and check and see if Sophia is pregnant. And if she is pregnant, I'm going to go ahead and make sure she is pregnant with that girl. Because I told you guys, I don't think she is actually. I told you guys I would make sure she had a girl. And she is not currently pregnant. So, Cameron, buddy, you're going to have to come over here 
and try for a baby with Sophia because she's not pregnant. She never got pregnant on the honeymoon. I thought she did, but nope, she's not pregnant. So we're gonna try for a baby real quick and I will make sure that she is pregnant with a baby girl because that's what you guys want. Where do you get the cribs from? They are so cute. Um, I think it's llama something. Let me see. It's a crib override. Um, the creator is, yeah, it's that llama person. Who is this? It's called the Rockabye Bassinet. Hush, hush your little baby to sleep. So you know the next one. Your mommy, your daddy. Dang it, it doesn't tell me the creator. It's that little llama symbol. It's llama something is the creator. Just look up infant, uh, just look up newborn crib override llama something. It should pop up. Like, just Google it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go through some of the interactions. Why do they all have to be jealous? No, he, no, 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 who flirted with him? No, 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 no. Dang it, bud. Oh, I have to get her pregnant. All right, I need the two people that I was supposed to have a baby with in here. Who the heck just flirted with him in front of somebody and ruined my chances to get her pregnant? Oh. Can I? Can we still try? Can we still try? Please. The drama continues. Yeah, Veronica, no, not out in the hallway. Cersei, why are you here? Oh, she wants to be best friends with Roxanne. Yeah, sure, it's fine. I don't see the problem. Dang it, she just rejected it. <gasps> Is Veronica gonna come slap him again? Okay, I was scared she was gonna slap me. Okay, for two seconds, I gotta, I promised you guys I would get her pregnant. So for two seconds, I'm gonna fix our relationship. <laughs> I need to fix our relationship real quick. I need this back up. <laughs> I just need it for a second. <laughs> okay, get rid of your angry mood. You're not angry, you're not sad. Can you ask him to try for a baby? That way I know he won't reject you. All right, go try for a baby, please. I'm begging. Yeah, who do we want to be our next wife? Do we want to go after the Ursuline or Green Llama? Yes, I think the creator is Green Llama. Hell no, thank you so much for the, saying that. I believe you are totally correct. Um. <laughs> How did you do that? The UI cheats mod. UI cheats extension is the mod that allows me to uh just quickly jump. No! No, 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 Natalie, get out. All right, guys, it's bush baby time. You know what to do in the comments. Put all those bush emojis out there and chant bush, 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 bush to bless our loins and make them be fertile so she can get pregnant with this baby good. So let's go. Bush, 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 bush. Bush, baby, bush, baby, bush, baby, bush, 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 bush. All right, dear bush lords, please bless us that our vampire loins be fertile and we get pregnant with a beautiful baby girl. Um, please, bush gods, bless us and let our uh our baby mommy get pregnant right now. Natalie, if you were gonna slap my man as soon as he gets out of there, I'm gonna be so angry at you. Don't you dare! It's not my fault you're watching this happen. This is a private moment. This is a private moment. But, but something's waiting in the bushes song. for us. Something's waiting in the bushes of love. Who sent that? Lainey, thank you so much for playing the bush song. I appreciate it. Okay, what's gonna happen between these two? Are they cool? Are they bad? Like, are we fine? <gasps> She's thirsty. I haven't been able to... F <gasps> I haven't fed her. She needs to feed. Does she have... Who does she have the best relationship with? Her husband. <gasps> Buddy. She needs to drink. She needs to drink. Vampire, drink plasma. Ask for permission to drink. Go. Go, 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 mommy. 
Before I need to make sure she's pregnant, I need to make sure she drinks. I can't have her dying. <laughs> Sims Gamer, thank you so much for that subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Can the woman that just came in be the next wife? Oh, Cersei Beaker? She's married, and I don't like her. Absolutely not. <laughs> She's very evil. I am not a fan of Cersei, so I do not want her to be the next wife. <laughs> no, I said go ask for his plasma. I know he's being cute and talking to his babies right now, but you need to go drink, honey. I need to also get her set up to be able to drink from another wife. I think Natalie might be our best option just because she's closest to Natalie. <gasps> oh, okay. I thought she was dying. No, she's just changing into her dark form. Oh, how nice of our husband to offer himself up like that. Oh, did you, did you drink enough? Are you full? Okay, yeah, she's good. All right. Moms, you guys need to come interact with your babies and at least feed them once. So I can age them up because I want to see what these kids look like. And I know you guys all want to see what these kids look like. So let's go ahead and do that. <gasps> oh, she continued drinking and I didn't see it. Dang it. Oh, okay. My other mommies. Come um, talk to you. Is this Milo? Yeah, okay. No! No! Get your... Get your butt out of there. Get out. Did they notice? I don't think they saw. I don't think they saw. I think we're good. I think we're safe. I don't think the other wives noticed. Don't. No. Don't. Are you coming in to flirt? Are you coming in to flirt? It's coming in just to chat, but I don't believe it. I'm nervous. I don't want him doing this in front of them again. I ain't here to make them mad. All right, do all your interactions, and then you can age up your different babies. No! Oh, on, they're all jealous now. Ugh. All the wives get jealous now. Make me a Riker aged up. One, two, three. Riker is a cautious baby. Look at our firstborn son. He is so handsome! He's so handsome! Oh my god, Riker! <laughs> He's so beautiful! Oh, I love his little hair! He's so cute! He is so adorable! Oh my gosh! Hi! Look at those eyelashes for days. Oh, he's got a toy right away. Oh, little Riker. He's so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. All right, is anybody else aging up their babies? I swear to God, if any of you... Are the wives fighting? Is the first and fourth wife fighting right now? No, okay, they're just sharing shocking stuff. Stop flirting. Get your flirty butt out of this. Good... No, you just ticked her off again. We're never going to be able to get a good relationship with Roxanne again. If you keep flirting in front of these other wives, maybe I need to not make him romantic. Maybe we need to get rid of the romantic trait. Dad, I need you to go watch a movie. Get out of this room. If you're going to go be all mixed steamy, dang it, he just pissed off all his wives. Come on. <laughs> One, two, three. Milo is another cautious baby. Oh, Milo. Look at his long hair. And his little blushy cheeks. Milo. Oh, my goodness. Another little cutie. Milo, you're so cute, my lovey. Oh, my goodness. 
Lauren M, Lila, thank you so much for the follow. Willow, thank you so much for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those all of you that are all watching, um, I'm currently live on Twitch. So if you want to see the entire screen and the best quality possible, 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 please go ahead and check me out on Twitch. It's a great way to support me as a streamer because Twitch is the one that pays my bills. So I would really appreciate that. Thank you for those that can. There's a link in my uh, TikTok bio that will take you straight to Twitch if you're interested. Twitch is free. It works just like YouTube and TikTok. All you have to do is make an account. That's it. Kelsey, Lexi, Anna, thank you for the follow. User number, 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 thank you for the follow. Ashley Cook, thank you for the follow. Max, Sheree, thank you for the follow. One, two, three. Ezra is aging up. Oh, it's a redhead. Oh, this one, Ezra is taking up after his dad with that red hair and blue, or not blue eyes, green eyes. Oh, he's so cute too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my Twitch username is Hayesh Mandy. Same as TikTok. Charlie, Joy, Ariana, thank you so much for the follows. Kins, thank you for the follow. I know, I need to get rid of the doorbell sound or at least make it a lot quieter, but good Lord. I know, TikTok is different. Okay, it's got its own little things. Okay, but Ezra's so cute. Look at all our cute babies. Oh, we have a bunch of babies. We now have a bunch of babies to take care of. Do we even have a trash? We don't have a trash can in this house. I need to get a trash can. Good Lord, if I, I can't change that sound right now. <laughs> but it is annoying. I will get rid of that for the next stream. I'll get rid of so many of the doorbells or the, the follow alerts on TikTok because their sound is naturally very annoying. But let's go ahead and get a changing pad to put in the nursery. There we go. I think that'll be cute, right? There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Try and ignore it if you can. <laughs> okay. I think I don't have auto aging turned on. I have auto aging turned off. Oh, that's right. We we're supposed to check if she's pregnant. That's right. I'm so sorry. We were supposed to do that. She is pregnant and she was also going to have a male baby, but you guys um, got me enough follows. So she isn't still going to have one baby, but it is going to be a female because I did get five new subs on Twitch. And I said, if I got five new subs on Twitch, we were going to go ahead and you are not flirting with him right now. There is another wife in the room that we were going to make sure she had a baby girl. So I made sure that she is having a baby girl. So yes, she is pregnant and she is having a little girl. And she was going to have another boy. So we were going to have all boys. Oh, I forgot to add a trash can still. I'm so dumb. Um, appliances. A... Let's do a cute little trash bin on the side. Sure. Uh, Mr. Worldwide, thank you so much for the follow, hunk. Welcome. Can the infants sleep in those beds? No, they can't. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I forgot about the newborn beds. At least I can sell those beds and uh, get new ones though. I forgot the infants can't sleep in the newborn beds. Making me spend all my money. Ice, Kayla, thank you so much for the follows. All right, what bed do I want? What crib? Let's do these cute little ones. I think I'm gonna try, let me see. I don't want that shade of wood. Another fan. We'll do this one. And these cribs are made by the same person that you saw uh, that made the uh, the newborn cribs. In case you were wondering, it's by that llama green green llama person. All right, there we go. And I'm just gonna add a fourth crib in right now just to plan things out and I I need a I need a rug for this room. It's way too plain. Also, if you hit the G button, you can get rid of the grid lines and if you hit um the grid the G button again, you can add them back. Um I hate seeing the grid lines. It really blurs out my vision. So, just remember G for grid. I played the Sims 
Um, I've been playing The Sims 4 for forever. I played it since it came out. And I didn't know that until like two years ago. I finally figured that out. So just letting you guys know. So you don't have to suffer like I did. G is to get rid of the grid lines. <laughs> I'm loving all the babies. All the babies are super cute and I need to save. I should save, you're right. Every time it goes off, I giggle. Who's <laughs> all had babies. All of his first three wives have had babies. So Riker belongs to his first wife. Obviously he looks just like his mom. He Riker is with his first wife, uh, Roxanne. Uh, Milo, our second little boy, he is the son of our second wife, Natalie. And then Ezra here is the third little boy. And he is, his mom is Veronica, the third wife. And then our fourth wife that we just added in today, she was just married into the family today. Sophia McLovin is now pregnant with the first little girl. She will be having a little girl in a few days. <laughs> And all the moms are very angry at dad right now because he is flirting in front of everybody. So that's fine. Oh, I know. Uh. Yes. Uh, so if you want to have the polyamorous, uh -huh. allow polyamorous relationships in the sim, uh -huh. you do need the mod MC command center. You have to click on a computer, go into the MC woohoo, and then you can select to ha uh -huh. to allow polyamorous relationships in your game. And you can select to turn jealousy off. I'm currently playing with Jealousy on because I wanted to see if I could do it. <laughs> if I could try and make sure that he had a good relationship with all his wives. Uh, but they keep catching him. He, he, if I didn't cheat to get her to have a good relationship hit with him real quick, uh, he would actually have a bad wife with her or bad relationship with her right now too. But I changed it so, so I could, they would have a good relationship right now currently. But actually, I probably should change it back just to be fair. It was negative 29 was their relationship. So I'm going to make it so she is angry at him too. Things with his third wife. I don't know if we will ever be able to fix them. She is very, very angry at him right now. Daz Games, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch. Jess, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch, you guys. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you came on over to Twitch from TikTok, let me know in the Twitch uh, chat so I can shout you out and thank you for coming on over to Twitch to watch. I really appreciate it. It does help me out a lot when you guys watch on Twitch because Twitch is better than they pay me, so. <laughs> All right, do you guys want me to start courting another wife? I don't know, or should we allow a little bit of time? And then how often should I age up the kids? Should it be every other day, every day they age up? Because I have auto aging turned off currently. Maybe I should... Stop flirting with your other wives in front of your other wives! I think that she was far enough that she didn't see. Stop scooting your little boot closer to him. They are already fixing their relationship. They're already fixing their relationship. They don't give up. They are they're already fine with it. Oh my gosh. Rain, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch. A new wife, new wife. Casey, thank you so much for coming into Twitch. TikTok shows me when you're live and then I jump over to Twitch usually. Thank you, Ez. <laughs> thank you for that. New wife, new wife. Start courting another wife. She's loving him being daddy. I think he just needs to get out of the house. But I love how he went and picked up his baby and sat back down on the couch. I think that was really cute of him. He's actually being an, actually a good dad. Alex, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch. Do the babies show us siblings on their family tree? Yes, I believe they do, actually. So for example, I'm gonna go to our second son here, Milo, or well, technically I think he came third. I'm gonna go to Milo and let's go to Milo's family tree. And yes, so on Milo's personal family tree, it will show that his stepmom is the first legal wife. Roxanne is the legal wife in this. Um, but if you were to go to his section, it would only show his family and all of his children. It would show his first wife, 
and his kids. But if you were to go and click on each one of his kids, it will show that he had the baby with that mom and that he is married to this mother. Uh, but the, yes, they're all half siblings. So they all have the same dad. Uh, they just have different moms. So they all are blood related, but they're half siblings. Can you customize them? I don't usually try and customize the infants uh, because they're usually not infants for long. So I don't usually mess with them. Yeah, you can only have mods with PC. You can't have mods with Xbox. <laughs> Tom Ding. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get him out of the house uh, because you guys said you would like him to go court a new wife. So let's, where do we want to go to try and find a new wife? Let's go to the beach each. Let's go get away. They, they, what they going to say? All right, let's go to the beach to try and find a new wife. We'll bring Claire Urser in because you guys said that you would like her. To be potentially the next wife and we have a lot of time we have a lot of people wives to pick from uh the goal is to get at least 20 wives so my twitch is hey ish mandy same as tiktok same as youtube i also have a youtube so go follow my youtube if you want to check out any of my old lives in the past um and i will be putting the entire sister wife series onto my youtube as well i do have to wait uh, about 48 hours to go ahead and put the youtube up on or the video onto youtube though because twitch has rules um, that I cannot put a video up for over 24 hours after and usually it's too late to put it up so I had to wait the next day. I didn't realize it was so dark. I didn't realize it was going to be nighttime at the beach. But you know, we'll still wait for the women. We'll wait for them to show up. But yeah, my Twitch and my YouTube and my TikTok. I'm Hayish Mandy on all those platforms. Baby K, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch, honey. Have a drink. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. <laughs> you want me to go find a mermaid? You guys always want me to have mermaids. If a mermaid pops up, I'll let you guys choose who we have. Currently, I'm not seeing any beautiful mermaid women on the beach, but it could be only a moment of time. But for now, I'm going to get to get... Um, I'm gonna get to know Claire Urser in a little bit because you guys did express interest in her being a possible wife. If not the next wife, definitely a future wife. <laughs> Do you remember Lemon? Of course I remember Lemon. She was my favorite. I adored Lemon in my not so very challenge. She was the sweetest. But they are so pretty, Mandy. I know, I make the most pretty mermaids. I think there was a mermaid in the water near the floaties. Near the floaties. Somebody said they saw a mermaid. These are just two men. These are definitely not mermaids. They are men. Men. We're menly men wearing tight, tight tights. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the not so berry challenge the not so berry challenge is a legacy challenge a 10 generation legacy challenge where every single generation is a color and you have specific challenges to do with them usually it's a career aspect a lifestyle aspect and potentially um like like a kid like they have so many kids they have this job they have to do xyz things um before you can move on to the next color or the next generation i'm currently on the uh, sixth and seventh generation currently um, in the Not So Berry Challenge. But I wanted to do the Sister Wives in honor of the Sister Wives series coming out soon. This is a mermaid, but it's not a woman. Oh, he gave us money! Well, we wait for a hottie mermaid to show up, but I don't know if they're gonna come. Katie, thank you so much for the follow. Sarah, thank you for the follow. My love, thank you for the follow. Best pack for beginners? Uh, I like Cottage Living. I will always say Cottage Living is a good one. Um, Island Living is kind of fun. I like... Uh, I like Get to Work because it allows you to have in-depth careers in the game that you can actually go to, visit them in their jobs, and it gives you an occult, which is Aliens. Um, so I always suggest Get to Work as a good pack. Some people say it's a bad pack, 
like Kelsey Dangerous, she said that Get to Work was the worst pack, and I'm gonna call her out on it. No, it's not. It is a good pack. Like, yes, it was one of the very first expansion packs in the game, but it was a good pack. It was a good pack for what it was. It gave us so much, okay? It gave you aliens. It gives you jobs that you can go to, the doctor career, the scientist career. Those are like my favorite careers in the game. So I like that one. And I'm gonna call Kelsey Dangerous out on her bull crap because I don't agree with her opinion. But I love her. I love her. God, don't start drama with her. Uh, she will crush me. <laughs> she will crush me. Um, <laughs> Adrian, thank you so much for the follow. Baby KB for the follow on Twitch as well. Since for life, thank you for the follow. Lil Roar, thank you for that nine month resub. Thank you so much, Lil Roar. Uh, Alex Not Found, thank you so much for that follow on Twitch. Casey, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Daz Games, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Jess, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Yo, it's Jules, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Macintosh, thank you for the follow as well. Camp Den, thank you so much for that follow also. Thank you. Yes, for what it was for the beginning. It was the first pack and it was good. It was good! I wish all of the uh, expansion packs that we got were as in-depth as that first one was. Did Claire Urser and leave us? Oh, I think Claire left. She ditched us. Look, I know it was raining and it wasn't the most romantic date ever, but I was waiting on a mermaid. <laughs> I'm a fast forward and we're gonna wait a little longer and see if a mermaid doesn't show up. He can go ahead and nap and relax though, but we're gonna wait for a mermaid, mommy. Syria, or <laughs> Syria. <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Brienne, thank you for the follow. Cece, thank you for the follow. Melissa, thank you for the follow. Star, thank you for the follow. Yes, and my Discord link is in my bio, or it'll be uh, thrown up on Twitch for those of you that are watching on Twitch right now. Uh, join the Discord if you want, where you can talk to me personally, ask me questions off chat if you need help with The Sims or want to talk about The Sims, um, or just want to talk about life. That's a good place to go hang out. So follow me on Discord if you feel like er, you're having a good time here. Is this a mermaid? No, she's not a mermaid. She's not a mermaid. We got mommies showing up though. We got different women showing up. She's pretty cute, though. Leah Hot Tube. She's cute. I like her a lot. Beanie, thank you so much for the follow. Ashley, thank you for the follow. LL, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you like the bowling pack? Honestly, I could forget about it. <laughs> I rarely ever touched the bowling pack. It, it was okay. I mean, I like bowling. I like bowling in real life, but I never use it. And the furniture was meh. It was very dated furniture and that's not really my style. So I want to do a tier list stream someday where I rate my favorite expansion packs and uh, order them by least to bet. <gasps> I found a mermaid. <laughs> I found a mermaid, but I don't know if you guys will want her. <laughs> because she's not your stereotypical, like, beautiful goddess mermaid. She's a little different. She's a little different, and, and I will show you why. I'd say when it comes to the mermaid game, she's a little more close to our vampire sim. She's got a different vibe for the mermaids okay and i'm gonna show you why but if you guys still want her she um, is yeah. technically a mermaid mommy <laughs> um i will go ahead and show her to you and i will have her come over here and come swim with us and you guys can decide if you guys want her um yeah i'd say she's more of a siren than a mer like like a mermaid she's more of a siren uh we'll go with that <laughs> so i'm gonna have her come swim over here with me and uh i'll show her off to you guys <laughs> is she coming come over here with me oh no 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 not skinny dip not skinny dip come here Come with me, honey. She says she's not gonna come. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to show you off to everybody. You know how to swim. Get your butt over here. Come on. Do I need to reset you? Can you walk this way? Can you walk this way? Can you swim here? She won't get in the water. She is not getting in the water. All right, well, I will show you guys. I will show her to you this way. For some reason, she won't get in the water. She's scared. Oh, don't don't mind him. This is a different guy. They all my mermaids live in the same household. <laughs> um, but here she is. This is the mermaid that we are potentially looking at adding into the house. <laughs> So as you can see, she she's a little different. She's not your typical be beautiful, beautiful mermaid. She's more like an orca mermaid. So I know she's not like my typical, like these are my, my typical mermaids I make. Um, so like this is what you guys are used to seeing me make, these beautiful mermaids. This is her. <laughs> Are you guys still okay with adding her in? No, yes, I kind of love it. She's cute though, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, I just got horses. I didn't know they had mermaids. Yes, in the Island Living Expansion Pack, there are mermaids that come to the game. But this is custom content tail. This is a custom content tail. This tail does not come with the game. This tail does not come with the game. Um, this is custom content. So, but yes, I think you guys are okay with her. I'm seeing lots of yeses, a couple no's sprinkled here and there. Um, <laughs> and some people saying I don't hate it necessarily, but I see an overwhelming, oh, an overwhelming yes response. So I think that's what we're going to do. He is going to go ahead and uh, court her instead. Even though she didn't want to come in the water with us. Let's go ahead and try and flirt it up with her. None of the other wives are around, so he can flirt. Really, you're gonna sunbathe in all your clothing. Okay, there you go. I mean, you should have done that in the first place, but all right, I'll let it happen. Chanel is still missing her hair. Oops. So I don't, I'm not worried about flirting with her right now because the other wives are not around. So I can't make anybody mad at me. Nobody's gonna get jealous. So we should be safe to go ahead and flirt as much as I need to with her without having to worry. So long as he doesn't screw it up. That's the only thing that we need to worry about is that he screws up his flirting and upsets her. Thank you so much for sharing the live, me BF. Thank you. That was so sweet of you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I just say? Don't screw it up. Did you just try and kiss her? Why are you merged together like this? All right, we need a smooth recovery this. Can I smooth recovery? Why are you together? Okay, I get it. You're trying to romance her, but becoming one. Oh, it's kind of like they're holding hands though. That's kind of sweet, but like, okay, I get it. I get it. She's a beautiful siren. We need to get some personal space though. There you go, take a step back, thank you. Can I smooth recovery that? Okay, I think we're still good though. I think we're still good. We just need to cool it down. Cool it down just a little bit. What are you doing right now? No, 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 don't go to work, don't go to work. We're flirting, screw work. Oh, actually I do need the money though. We do kind of need the money. I just want to get a good relationship with her real quick. Can you get out of this conversation, sir? Timmy Tool, get out of here. I'm trying to romance this chick, and you are ruining it. Get out of here. Please, I need to romance. 
<laughs> like, I know sirens are usually the one to romance others, but now we're trying to. Hey, boo. Ow. Whisper seductive. And an attempt to first kiss. I can never let my sister wives be jealous. <laughs> I just make them like each other. I'm currently playing with Jealousy on, but I think in the future I'm gonna have to play with Jealousy off. I think I'm never gonna get anything done, but we're gonna try our best. I'm gonna try my hardest to play with it on for a little bit. Stop! I know your work is calling. They'll be fine. They'll be fine without you for one second. Just let me... Just let me ask her to be my girlfriend and propose to her on the beach, okay? We're gonna be fine. And then after that, guys, I think I'm gonna be ending the live here. We're not gonna marry her tonight. We're gonna marry her in the next live. Um, and I think I'm going live next on Monday or Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time again. So if you are enjoying yourself now, please follow so you can join us on our next stream where we will be marrying her, having our baby with Sophia, and then we'll be getting her pregnant and having her baby probably next stream too. So if you are, if you are enjoying yourself, please go ahead and follow me on TikTok, on Twitch, and on YouTube. My name is Hey-ish Mandy across all those platforms. Um, so please, 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 please go check me out. It would really make my day if you go follow me on all those platforms. It really helps me out. So I'm going to have her and propose to her. Let me listen real quick. Ding dong. <gasps> She's accepting! But yeah, I'm going to be ending the live here soon. So please, if you enjoyed yourself, please follow. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on TikTok. It would really help me out. I will be uploading this stream onto YouTube in the next 48 hours. So if you missed any part of this live and you would like to catch up, uh, please go ahead and just wait for it over there. It'll be up soon. Um, the stream from yesterday, I'll be able to put up tomorrow as well. Uh, where we were making everybody. So that stream, uh, that will be up on the YouTube tomorrow, most likely. Wow. Alright, but they are engaged and ready to go. And he is apparently serenading her right now. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and save. And thank you guys so much. It was such a fun stream tonight. We've made it three hours of, <laughs> of doing everything that we needed to today. I've had so much fun, so. I don't know, I'm enjoying this challenge. I really love it. <laughs> I love it so much. And this weekend, please join the Discord if you would like to join us on a rave party to watch the first episode of the new Sister Wife season coming out this weekend. Uh, please join us on Discord because we're gonna be having a rave watch party night where we watch the first sister wife episode uh, together. So if you're interested in doing that, please go ahead and go join us on the Discord. Um, there is a link in my TikTok bio or one of my mods will be putting out the Discord link over on Twitch. So you can check those out as well. Um, I'm gonna be getting rid of the doorbell sound or at least making it like a lot quieter in the future. I'm so sorry, I did not know that was a thing until just now. Thank you for the gifts also. Um, but I'm so sorry about that. I'll get rid of it for next time. I didn't know it was the thing. So I'm gonna have to go look up and uh, make sure I get rid of that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but my name is Hayish Mandy and I've had a wonderful time with you guys tonight. I'm gonna be ending the live here. I hope you've enjoyed yourself um, and I will see you guys soon. Maybe I'll do an extra live over the weekend, but if I do, it'll probably be me playing Palea because that's a fun new game that I've been really enjoying. So I might check that over there instead this weekend, maybe. So the ding, the dinging noise bell, the dinging noise. What is anytime somebody followed on Twitch or on TikTok? I'm sorry. Uh, so sorry about that. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. I'm gonna leave now this time for sure. But I love you guys. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye. <laughs>